Alright, let's get this nonsense started. Let's get this depressing roller coaster of Dark Souls down. Because we have nothing but hard bosses left, I think. Let's get this shit over with. What up, everybody? How's it going, Juju? How's it going, Chiyudu? Also, I'm gonna answer this message live. Oh, totally not streaming right now that is only a figment of your imagination there you go back to trying to play dark souls um please load please load hello 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 pop Typey, 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 typey. Hello. Bonjour. Bonjour. Crazy mango in line. Thank you for letting me know. No, wait, fuck. I forgot. I lied, we're not playing it. <laughs> I forgot, I have to go into offline mode for this stupid game. Why is that a thing? I swear to God. Literally, like, you would think that the updated version of this game, they'd be like, Oh, yeah. In the updated version, in the, the Scholar of the First Sin or whatever, we're going to update that shit so that you don't have to keep fucking logging out of your Steam thing so that you can play in offline mode if you want. Why don't we just do that? But no, no, can't have nice things. We're not allowed to have nice things ever, apparently. Oh my God, look, it's the champ himself, HP Big Lame. Also, Missouri does kind of suck. For signal, obviously. I mean, all the states suck for something, but Missouri does suck for signal. Basically, anywhere in like the South or like the Midwest is gonna suck for signal, depending on where you go, because it's not like a like, you know. As long as there's internet, there's not really a huge priority in the internet like working. Unfortunately, that's not one of their big concerns. All right. all right, all right, all right, all right. So we only have five bosses to do, I think, right? We have the three bosses that are in the cathedral. We have to kill Vendrick. And we have to kill the smelter demon. So do we kill Vendrick first or do we attempt the smelter demon? Because I feel like I can probably kill Vendrick, not bad. Actually, no, we have six. We have to also kill the dragon. The dragon's optional, though. 
I don't know. I feel like I struggle really, really, really hard with the smelter demon. Because he's like, he gets all up in your grill. He does a lot of damage. I feel like we should attempt Vendrick first. How many giant souls do I have? Soul of Vols. Old Iron King. Soul of Rotten. Do I have any giant souls? Oh, there you go. Soul of a giant. The soul possessed by a giant. So I have three giant souls, meaning that the boss would be slightly easier than he could be. Let's travel to the crypt. Black gold, triangle lake, undead crypt. There is a map in here. Or not a map, but there is a... Uh... There is a bonfire. I don't remember how to get to it, though. Also, we're no dogs anymore. Life is good. I can stream. I can clap. Look, look, look. I can do whatever I want. It's wonderful. Peace and quiet. I love it. I'm so happy. I love it. Yep. Screw. You got out of my way, sexy ladies. Lady. Oh, 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 Panga comes down. I like that. Nobody ever bothers to test things out. People just want to ask questions. You know what? I'm not saying shit. Y'all got to figure that out on your own. Much the same as I randomly put you guys in the abyss. You guys have to figure things out. You know, since you want to go around acting goofy, I think you deserve a certified clown license. There you go. AKA more things for Shiru to play with. Basically. Now we come back here. Memory of the King. 
Okay. Guess I can't walk that way. We do have to kill old Benny here, but we're gonna do that after we go into this dream here. I'm pretty sure this is like the husk of his body. Or no, this is his armor. I think they left. So here's old Benny chilling out with his shield and sword right here. Just hanging out. Seeker of fire. Cobbiter of the throne. I am Vendrick, ruler of Drang Lake. As flame rises, so does it fade. Such is the way of things. Do you intend to link the fire? Then you must first take the throne. Prove your worth. Find the ancient crowns. Seek adversity, and they will be yours. It is. And your wishes. Granted. It is. I gotta. I, I'm not gonna put everything at 800, because then you guys could just spam it at will. Granted. And your wishes. Granted. Is that all you're gonna do? And your wishes granted? Plus, that one's gonna probably make me jump, so... There's a reason why that one has a uh, has the price cost that it has. That one's probably gonna make me jump. I don't miss it at all. No, I don't miss stretch either. Can I not hurt this guy? Oh, he just has that much HP. Oh yeah, I'm not doing any damage to him, that's why. All right, Juju, peace out. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your vacation, hanging out with your bro, whatever sesh thing. Hopefully you're having fun. Um, I don't think I can do this boss fight. I don't think I have my bow will live through it yet. Meaning, what? Hmm. I need more souls of the giant because five is what it takes to make the boss go back to its normal HP and if I'm only doing 50 damage a shot um, I didn't have to do this or I didn't have this problem when I was playing uh, on caster because obviously my caster was damage was broken but this is not gonna be the case for this boss fight
Yeah, I was like, I think I need f uh, five of them if I remember correctly. So we have three of the memories, right? We have the memory of Oro, we have the memory of Vamar, we have the memory of Yig. Did we do the Black Gulch Hidden Giants one? In a cave? I don't think so. Hmm. I think we should kill the dragon now then. Is what I'm thinking. Because the dragon will give me uh, uh, another soul. The dragon's gonna be kind of annoying to fight though. I think if I remember correctly, let's see. We can get rid of Ring of Restoration. Do I have Ring of Blades? I do. Increases physical attack. Which should increase the attack on my bow. Not necessarily the arrows, but the physical attack I can do. With the potential damage. Time to shoot this nerd a lot. So how little damage do I do on this guy? Not bad. Oh, wrong way. I think I'm supposed to walk into that. Man, I do like no damage. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a struggle. And what I mean by I do no damage, I mean he has a lot of HP. Obviously. Yeah, the guards aren't mad yet, because I don't think I've killed their boy. These guys also get a little bit angry when you end up killing the, uh, the dragon. Ideally, we won't be here for that, though. You're gonna be right back? Alright, Chiru. Good luck on the BRBing or whatever. Why am I not running? Why am I still not running? There we go. I guess the step wanted to be a little obnoxious. I don't think I even have any souls that matter. Do I? Yeah.
shooting up these arrows, having a good time, having a good time. Giving this dragon a real bad toe egg. By the way, if we happen to kill this dragon, we have to kill it a second time, so we're gonna bonfire aesthetic this guy. For another giant soul. This is the plan, anyway. We're gonna take all these souls and then go buy more lightning arrows. Obviously, because we're already down to half a stack. Bring in more lightning arrows and then come back and then like do the fight again. Probably the chunkiest uh, boss in the game though. Albeit like probably the most cheesel just because he's got like a big body. Like, I died because my lady wouldn't run. I think it's because I was still recharging my stamina. Well, there you go. That's why you never say if we win. Or that's why you say if we win because <laughs> literally died. To a fire breath that I should not have been standing in because my character didn't run. It is what it is. You hate to see it. It's obnoxious, but I mean, like... I have no control over that. I shouldn't have died there, but I did. But hey, look, the sprint's working now. We're sprinting up a storm right now. A storm. And sometimes the game likes to be a little funky. A little funky, chunky, monkey. That's any game, though, so. You get straight on lucky occasionally, you can't really be super mad at it. That shit just happens. Never forget that. Perspective. It could have been worse. We could have died at the end. We died at a point slash an interval that did matter. Back to giving this guy a severe case of ouchie toe. Gonna nestle myself right in here. We got a decent amount of HP gone.
we already got him down to like a quarter. Or, or we have him down a quarter, I mean. Not bad, not bad. I mean, it's, it costs this many arrows just to do this, so it's like... Not necessarily the easiest feat to accomplish, but... We're getting some hits in, we're getting some damage. I'm actually gonna be more uh, concerned about when we get the bonfire aesthetic higher. Well, that kind of bugged out a little bit. Because when we get the bonfire aesthetic higher, he's going to do more damage and take more uh, and take more HP to kill him. It's essentially like a pseudo uh, NG plus. Or, you know, like new game plusing where like the enemies have more HP and like all that stuff. It's kind of like that without doing that. Also, if I remember correctly, this is like not the fastest way to get souls, obviously. Technically, the fastest way to get souls is to fight the giant lord. Which I feel like we would have ran through this guy a lot more quickly, but... Also, the jiggle physics on his tail. I think he's, his tail's like just out of the render zone, so it's like not realistic, because it's like... His tail's waving like it's a banner. It's kind of bothering me. Or like a flag. Bitch. It got unpredictable at the end. That's the point where I didn't know if I should have healed and or try to run in and like make the boss do the predictable pattern again. Instead, neither thing happened and I died. Very obnoxious though. We were pretty damn close on that one. It's just another one of those unluckies. Nah, no, I'm not really struggling. I mean, technically we're cheesing the boss by standing in its claw because... The UI for this boss is so weird because he's such a big boss that... We can stand in his toe. And he does only like two predictable moves. The problem is if I don't quickly get back to that position... Uh, the boss thinks that we're directly underneath it, and if we're directly, directly underneath it, then the boss does the, uh, jump up in the air fire breath. So I specifically have to be on that back toe. After, um, it does the stomp thing. It's a, it's not a whole annoying thing, but... I wouldn't say I'm struggling. This is fairly easy. It literally just comes down to if I get lucky enough to kill the boss. Cheating. Dad's calling, so he'll be back. Alright. Enjoy the conversation with your pop pop.
It's all hard to get decent help out of this character. I swear, I was literally hitting the sprint button the entire time. The game's like, sprint. I hardly knew her. Like, I kind of need you to sprint, game. I could consistently, like, do damage like this, we'd be pretty damn unstoppable for a lot of fights. Unfortunately, you can't just, like, sit inside the boss and just shoot arrows upon arrows into it. I know, it's sad, but we don't just get to do this. That being said, if this ancient prick wants to die on this one, that'd be cool with me. Cause... I'm starting to run out of gas as far as lightning arrows. I'm starting to run out of gas, and we haven't had any souls to replenish said gas. Not a bad rotation currently. Then I open my mouth. And then I opened my mouth, and then you know what the boss did? The boss jumped in the air twice. Very cool. You bitch. Promises, promises. I'm gonna have a drink of my thing while I walk up this. Okay, I'm not gonna run. Oop. My forearm to do that. If you could be, stop being an unpredictable douchebag, that'd be cool with me.
We get you down to like half and then you're like, take to the sky, take to the sky, take to the sky again. And that's cool, I don't mind you taking to the sky constantly, but it's not fair when I'm trying to do a thing and you just do it constantly over and over and over again. I'd give my left testicle up for adoption in a heartbeat. If I can actually get my character to run. I see I have stamina. I cannot run. Like, why is my character not running? I don't understand. I haven't had the stamina. I don't even have a ring that gives me extra stamina regen for corn's sake. Seems like no, no running. Your old man needed help with a word document. Tom, that's how you know you're old. You don't know how a Word document works. You're, you're getting too old. Alright, please, please, I beg you, I beseech you even. Okay? Gonna get weird. Alright, I beseech you, please stop like flying into the air every five seconds. Not fair. The kids will not approve. What did he do? He immediately took to the sky again. Now there's a need to tell him. Tell him he's old. Tell him. From me. From the spruce. The spruce goose. The spruce choose goose. The coolest guy you know. Goddess of gamers. Not right now, but at some point. The goddess of gamers. He's old. But don't tell him right now, because if anybody if anybody checks, I'm not really god gaming right now. Come back in like uh, ten minutes, if I beat the boss or not. I'm getting dangerously close on lightning arrows again.
Emerging lightning arrows. That hit me, huh? It's a good thing I healed, bitch. I don't know if anything's gonna heal me through this, though. Yeah. Nothing can heal me through that! Because that's death. I swear to God, like, this boss is so unpredictable sometimes, and it's so annoying. I took off, like, three times there. It's like, why? Why? At one time, it only took off once, and I died because my character literally wouldn't run, and I was stuck in the fire. This time, it took off three times, and I couldn't get out of it. No matter what I did. This is why we have question mark in the title, I suppose, because who the fuck knows if we're going to be able to beat any of the bosses. Well, Nishandra probably. The Watcher and Nishandra obviously are like the two I'm fairly confident I can beat. Unfortunately, that requires me to kill Vendrick, which unfortunately requires me to kill this dragon, so... Because I don't think I can kill Vendrick in order to get the true ending of the game without doing all this other bullshit, so. It's annoying, but. You kinda gotta do it. Damn, we have to do this. We had, Not only do we have to do this fight once, we have to do this fight again. We need five souls of the giant, and we need to farm those. Because we picked up the three easy ones. There's one in Black Gulch, I believe, but I don't remember how to get that one offhand. And I'm not about to. I know I had to like kill like a giant or something in Black Gulch. But I think Black Gulch is that spooky scary place we were in where we have to like go upstairs somehow and behind like a secret wall there's like two of the small little giant guys we fight in the dream. I don't remember how to get there though. I can outrun this ever. Like, even if I tear off into a direction, I don't think I can run away from it. The best I can do is try not to dive to it. Let's see. Yeah, took that still. I think that's literally the best I can do is run away from it and try not to die from it. And I think I'm dead here. Yep. Yep. The unblockable, untackable damage where the boss is just like, I'm gonna take up to this guy, cause fuck you. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> It's not really hitting me with physical, the problem. Do I have anything that's like specifically fire resistant? 
that's one, but that doesn't matter. 33. 41. 53. I'll run this for a little bit. Because the problem, I was like, the problem I'm facing right now is I'm dying to literally something that's like so stupid. I'm literally dying to the fire that randomly is happening because he's randomly shooting fire downwards. So instead of relying on, I guess also technically I should be leveling up my gear. I don't really have an armor set I like though. So I haven't really been doing that. That I've been interchanging my armor sets out. You got a problem with me, asshole? I'm gonna get through this door. Alright. More drinking, cuz... I gotta walk up to these steps anyway. Alright. So two things. One, we only have 156 lightning arrows. Meaning, if we even happen to kill this dude, we have to spend every single one of our god dang souls we get killing this guy on getting more arrows. Which is annoying. That's number one. Number two, if we don't kill him on this one, it's going to be scary because we're not going to have any fucking arrows to do anything of the next one. I call that a no good all the way around the board. Somehow I took that damage. Doesn't really feel like that saved me much from the damage it took. Huh? Did I just die from getting hit by a stomp that didn't hit me? That I've been walking under this whole time? Also, this fire is just shit. I thought that that extra like 10 points was gonna actually like make a difference. I, I think I'm still taking the same amount of fire damage. All right. Unless I'm weak to fire innately by being like a bandit or whatever my role is. No, I am a bandit. Okay. Hey, asshole McGee, can you like stop doing that? Once again, this is literally not that hard of a boss fight. This is not that hard. I mean, you guys can see what we're doing. It's just we, we need to have the boss not do the fire breath thing that hits the entire map. And if I happen to have to be standing underneath the boss, I die to it. That's it. I cannot just die to the boss doing the boss's dumb shit. But I don't have the uh, I don't have the necessary stats to fight him easily otherwise.
And there's me walking over that again, or walking underneath it. If you do it again, I'm gonna scream. That one appears to just hit you no matter what. Just fine, I guess. But there was no animation for that, by the way. He just went from the ground cracking to I don't know what that meant into the stomp was already happening while I was healing. Meaning I didn't know to walk through that. So I died, which is very cool. It's getting to be annoying if the boss is gonna keep like bugging out. I need to kill this guy. We're not even we're not even at the first like bonfire aesthetic thing. We're like, oh yeah, like it kind of matters. And like we like reduce the HP of Vendrick. We literally cannot kill Vendrick. Our bow will not live through that. And I don't want a double bow because this is like the strongest bow we could literally have at this point. Coupled with our level. Ugh. Just so annoying. So annoying. Too bad I can't like bleed him or anything like that too. Or like fire arrows aren't gonna do shit. It's like dark arrows aren't gonna do shit either. They're gonna be mad once I kill this guy, by the way. So then it's gonna be a giant pain in the ass to come back through here. The second time around. Because most of these guys won't let me just pass through. Here I am, just walking through it again. I think I'm just dead here. No stamina, so then I had to stand there and try to heal through it because he did the jump three times. Very cool. There's like no reason why this boss is this like difficult right now, right? Like it's not just me. Like I might be losing my mind here, but there is no absolutely no fucking reason why this boss should be this hard right now. I literally like killed him twice and then the game was like, haha, surprise bitch, you're gonna get cheated. But I definitely had this guy killed like three times over by now.
208 is actually like better, right? Or worse? Am I doing 300 or 208? I don't remember. I feel like my dark damage is pretty good right now, honestly. Could just be my insane brain, but I definitely feel like I'm chunking this dude. Somehow I weaseled my way back in here. Too good. Get nestled right back up in here. Wrap in this 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 tasty toe. This tasty dragon toe. Also, I have a lot of time to like look around. This dragon's tail is veiny as fuck. Jesus.
Alright, we should have it here. Goodbye, big boy. We have a soul of a giant. And we got those extra souls that we just got there. So now we can return back here. <laughs> and the, the best, greatest part, we can do it again. Yes. Yes, we can do it again. If you guys had so much fun doing it the first time, we get to do it a freaking gun. But first we need to go back to Drangle Lake. And pick up more, uh... Souls. But... We mostly went there for the soul of the giant. Now we're here to go upstairs and pick up more souls. Or more uh, lightning arrows. Because we specifically need lightning arrows for... Basically all the bosses that we're going to be coming up against shortly. Easy cut. Right, every boss, I, I would say, that's going to be of some note to this game is going to be over here, and we need to kill them. Well, I guess. Tell me. Fifty-three thousand, kind of a lot. Buy that. And I don't think we need any of this other crap. Gone, sir. Be safe. Also, I felt like those lightning. Slash, 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 slash. Why? I was like, why? That's the real question. Why? why? Why would you? Why would you? Why would you waste perfectly good, hard-earned dollar dues on that? But anyway, thank you so so very much for the thirty-five dollar dono. It's very kind of you. That's super super kind of you. In fact, so kind of you. Stop. Stop it now. Uh, I don't think upgrading anything at this point is going to do anything. What's Dark Blessing? Oh my god, Dark Bonus is int. Okay. This is getting kind of weird now, but I'll do it. Back to that place. To fight that boss again. You might go, how is that possible? Well, you're about to find out. Also, hydrate, easy. So, uh, how do I explain this? In Dark Souls 2 specifically, bosses are dictated, slash, like, resurrecting bosses are dictated by, based off of certain bonfires. So in this case, the shrine, this is the only bonfire that's in the nearest proximity to the boss. So I can do, I can burn one of these bonfire aesthetics, which tossing into a bonfire strengthens nearby foes. It'll also, um, revive bosses. I burned that, right? What's done cannot be undone. So now if I try to travel here, let's see. The shrine right here. You see that little two? Bonfire intensity two? That means we did the thingy. We officially did it to ourselves, and what's done cannot be undone. So now if we sprint back up here, first of all, these guys might be mad, because they did... Okay, they're not mad. No, they are mad. They're mad as hell. Yeah, they're mad as hell. So I killed the dragon, so they're gonna attack me now. It's 
So now we have to really, 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 really beat the dragon guy because uh, every single one of these guys is going to want a piece of this ass. And I'm not really willing to deliver. <laughs> and that's why. That's why. Luckily, uh, if we die here, we don't care necessarily per se because we kind of already spent all the souls we care about. I guess I could have taken that 10k and went over back to the undead crypt and got more uh, dark arrows. Because I am going to be shooting Dark Arrows since it seems like they do more damage at this point. But... Meh. Can't be bothered. Okay, we need one more Soul of the Giant. And then uh, Vendrick will be at normal boss hell. Which I feel like I kind of need to have. He did three attacks. He was so close. I also got a little impatient because... It's hard to it's hard to gauge how far away the other guys are now that they're moving around in a hostel. Now that they're moving around in hostel. Eat a butt. I also find it funny that I can go in there and attempt to kill their like dragon thing as many times as I want until I officially kill it is the trigger for the game to go, hmm, Let's... you actually killed our dragon thing. We're mad as fuck. And then I can literally use a bonfire aesthetic and resurrect their dragon thing and they're like, nah, fuck that shit. You killed the dragon. We mad as hell. We angry. Technically speaking, though, if I didn't resurrect that boss, uh, we are down a boss. Please traverse. What a bitch. Yeah, I was dead. I got backstabbed out of it. I was hoping that both of them were going to swing. That's the other problem about this game, is if you, re if you reach a teleport... Uh, I think Dark Souls 1 doesn't do that. But Dark Souls 3 absolutely does. If you hit the uh, fog wall, you can't get hit out of it. So you, you just start immediately traversing the wall, and then you can't be macked out of it. This game, you have to literally sit there like an asshole for 10 years and attempt to open the door. Like an asshole. And now the hard part is getting to the dragon. Not about slaughtering the dragon, but getting to the fucker. Because those last three guys are literally put there to stop me from doing this. Yeah, I'm dead. If I couldn't get through that door, I was dead. I was hoping that I was going to be able to pull him a little closer. Also, it's a lot more convenient to just try to run through these guys than it is to uh, attempt to. Uh, my controller turned off. Yeah, it did. It's a lot more convenient to try to just run through these guys than it is to attempt to uh, kill them all. Because by the time I get to the top and kill all these guys, I could. I could literally kill all of them, but my bow would take so much durability damage in addition to. It takes a fucking long time to kill all these guys. I'd rather just try to run, to be honest, because then you have to figure there's eight or ten, eight to ten or whatever dudes lining the sides up here. There's just so many like weird Dragonite enemies.
The literal fact that they could jump in the air. I'm trying to like make them spin. And they're able to jump in the air and catch me. It's like, alright. Imagine committing all your momentum in a direction and then they're able to curve it midair. They're literally able to break physics and curve it. Like what a what a stupid game. What a stupid game. And as you can clearly see, at this point, the boss is way easier now. Getting to the boss is uh, impossible. Motherfucker literally like walked in front of the door. I would have made it through. I probably wouldn't have lived because then I have to stand in front of the doors and heal again because they caught up to me so quickly. But <sighs> I hate the fact that you have to like farm for these stupid soul things. Alright. Okay. Well, that sets the pace already. That's an annoying phase. Because now I have to perfect this section up here. Well, we still haven't even had a chance to fight the boss yet. All this running just to attempt to fight the boss. The boss that we had been dying to this many times already. Let me get to the boss. Please just let me get to the boss. Not only are you not letting me, you guys are also kind of being assholes. Executed out of the door. I'm gonna have to kill every single one of these assholes, aren't I? <gasps> I guess. They're not gonna let me do it. Does anyone else appreciate the fact that the enemies can do like 60% of my HP? Is that just me? Very fun that the enemy could just do that. Super cool, in fact. I forgot they can cast. Well. Super cool so far. Who else is having fun at this point? Not me.
Also, I want to remind everybody watching that we're doing this to attempt to actually fight the thing we're trying to fight. All this is just to, to prep to fight Vendrick. We really don't want to be here. We really don't want to be doing this. There's like way better, easier ways and places to farm. We literally just have to do this to get the last giant soul. And to get the giant soul, we need to kill something that's a stupid giant dragon. So, we have zero desire to be here. We just kind of have to be because we need the giant soul. And we're just doing this to do the thing we want to do. We already killed the, the slumbering dragon, so technically I can cross that off the list. I just resurrected him because I need to kill him again. To get his soul. Does anybody else appreciate the fact that we could die at any moment? Because these guys have like so much goddamn damage. Or is that also just me? Yep. It also doesn't help that I have a bow. That's the fun of bow build. Nobody does any damage. But don't worry, they do a fuck ton of damage to me. Like that. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Isn't this fun, right? We have to do all of this just to attempt to fight the boss that had been killing us this whole time. I could probably try to kill Vendrick with only four, but it's like his HP is so high. Yeah, I almost feel like I have to grab as many uh, boss souls as I can. I just remember being as a caster in this game <clears throat> and going, wow, it's so hard to get casts off, but literally I'm doing like 10 times the damage I'm doing right now. I miss those days. I miss the days of actually being able to do damage. Luckily, I think if I kill this guy, this guy doesn't come back. Cause this guy's got so much health.
<clears throat> Isn't a Plague Tale not actually a game? Isn't that like uh, one of those like light novel type games where it's, it basically is just like a story that plays out? If I remember correctly. Look at all the frickin' dudes. I like playing a wide variety of games, but like, novels aren't, or like the story novel th type games are like not super interesting to me. That doesn't mean I haven't played my fair share of those types of games, just... I don't think I have to explain to you that it's like that takes like a certain type of person to want to play those games. Or you have to be in like the mood for it. Like I, I've played those kinds of games just. Man, there's so many dudes. Once again, all this is just to fight the boss. I haven't had the boss yet. And if I fuck up and die, well, you know. There goes all this effort. I was like, if I die here, would I actually come back and try to redo all this shit? Probably not. By the way, all these enemies respawn. Every single one of these enemies, even the knights, respawn. That's why I'm just like, I don't know if I'd come back and do this again. I might just try to attempt Bendrick. Black Dragon Shield.
I like that. You, you do know that people typically don't go into games to play them and like them eventually, right? Like, people typically want to play a game that they're, they're potentially going to like from the beginning. Not- oh yeah, you can, you know, want to kill yourself 90% of the time, but maybe 10% of the time you'll have a good time. <coughs> That's also not that fun to li literally listen to somebody complaining for hours on end about not liking something. <coughs> I'll look into it to remember what it's about, but for the most part, if I say I'm not literally interested in it at all, <coughs> that means it's going to be the most painful thing to watch you'll ever see. Because I will rip it apart like you've never heard. I make my opinions known pretty frequently. If it's something I don't like, I will just sit there and rip it apart to no end. <coughs> so if you just want me to shit on a game that you like or you enjoy, I suppose I could spend money to do that. I guarantee you nobody's going to be happy though at the end of it. You're not going to be happy having watched it, and I will definitely not be happy if I hate it. <clears throat> also, I've been completely, like, fucking around. <clears throat> trying to kill all these dudes and, like, do this thing. I completely forgot. <clears throat> so let me... Take this opportunity now that my brain's like not thinking about playing the game right now for a second to thank you officially for the 100 billies. I completely forgot to do that. That's my bad, my apologies. I usually do better on that, but <coughs> as you can see, we're still clearing the wave just to get to the boss because if I run over to the boss door, I'm gonna get backstabbed. I like that. If I like it, I like it. If I if I don't ban you, <clears throat> that's not the point. And I feel like you know that's not the point. <clears throat> the point isn't to have like a painfully horrible experience and to like put that on you. Because if I hate it that bad and you hear the toxicity in my voice and the anger and the rage and all that stuff, like nobody wants to hear people doing that. The reason why I'm like kind of shying away from the thought of it is like that's something that nobody will have a good time either viewing or experiencing. I was like, I don't know if I can justify <laughs> saying yes to that. I instantly died. Okay, yeah, we, we can't fight this. He, I was like, we literally can't fight this. Okay, I'm glad I, I'm glad I tried. But yeah, we can't fight this. Holy crap. We took a sliver of his health off. And basically did nothing. You know what? I'm pretty sure we, we have like decent progress right now. Let's go see if we can fight Vendrick. But yeah, Ancient Dragon's gonna be too much of, for, of a hurdle with this build. Uh, crypt, right? A dead ditch. Yeah, I was like, I'll, I'll definitely take a look at it again if if ch chatters are interested in it. I usually take a better look at it, but I can definitely say no promises, because. I hate playing <laughs> light novels. 
or a light novel esque game. I don't I don't consider those games to me. I consider those like a book. If I wanted to read a book on stream, why would I stream? Why would I turn the stream on if I'm gonna read a book? Is how I see it. Couldn't dodge. Couldn't do anything, because I already got hit. Hmm. This is not a hard boss fight either. I just can't get hit. Literally, you have to perfect this boss, because it's kind of hard to get a heal in. Unknowingly. I don't think I have any souls, right? Motherfucker. <clears throat> the problem with the camera lock on is it's hard to tell which direction he's going, so I thought he was gonna do a side swing and he did an overhead. So I got hit by it. Long story short, that's why I got hit by that one. <clears throat> Cause I know this boss in particular, if you stay in like his I should really put on a knife just so I can break these really quickly. Don't have to do the plunging attack. Oh yeah, long story short for this boss, you kind of just stay on the side where his sword isn't, and it's like really easy to like dodge around him. Unfortunately, uh, the game does not like to be kind sometimes. I mean, sometimes, I mean, the game doesn't like to be kind a lot of the time. A lot of the time. I also do, like, no damage to him, but, you know. That's bow build.
Oh, I got staggered. Yeah, this isn't a hard fight. He just gets back into a corner. And it's so hard to do any damage. If we die on this one, I'm gonna put a dagger on or something just to help break those. Man, we're getting good damage in. The problem is just... If we make one tiny mistake and or like he backs himself into a wall and I can't literally do the side dodge. Or I can't get circle around back behind him quickly enough. I just die. I just die. It's such like a, a horrible, horrible, horrible experience. We gotta do this bow thing. Pig fucker. Just like staggered, staggered, staggered. Oh. It's like not even fair to the amount of staggering that happens. Uh, let's see. By the way, short of using spells, there's no other way for me to like boost my damage at this point. Like, this is as high as it gets. This is literally just our damage. Unfortunately.
as I'm <laughs> focusing. Can't see. Motherfucker, I got caught in his leg. <sighs> and that's just how easy it is to die to Vendrick randomly. Because you get caught in his leg, and then you get stuck in his leg, and then he backs himself into a corner, and then you can't roll, and then you can't do anything. Oh, I hate fighting Vendrick. I really do. He's a cheater. He doesn't play fair. He jumps back into a corner. I can't get him out of the corner. Does he want to play fair? What a dick. What a dick. Do the slow dance. Slowly dance around, dance around at the speed of sound. Dancing around, dancing around. Da 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 da. 
Gonna do this with the bow because I hate myself for some reason and I agreed to it. I'll try that they didn't connect. That looked kind of good, Vendrick. I gotta be honest. I'd have given it to you. Nice cheeks, brother. Nice cheeks. I'm gonna get this asshole out of the corner. I think I still die at this HP. Also, how did you immediately get back over here in the corner? Explain. Also, he's doing the 180, like, slams again. He's, like, super cool. Super cool and pretty damn scary, because we could get hit by that at any moment. And die. And die. And die. Alright, what do we got going on? He one shot me. He jumped back into the corner and did the slice. What a dick. Huge dick. Massive dong. Wow. How long are these fights taking anyway? Five, ten minutes per try? I swear like half my life is expiring every time I have to do these. Because I can only think about which dodge I have to do. And I'm attempting to get him to, if he's ever backstepping, slash like doing the jump way, I'm literally trying to get closer so that he like jumps into the center. He never does it. He always jumps back into a wall. Like what a fucking joke. Oh man. Getting tired.
Okay, let's limit the amount of those you're doing. Let's limit the amount of that you're doing. The unpredictability is the thing that gets me killed. Be a little bit more predictable, shall we? I see right here. Not good. Old man's getting kind of mobile. That's all I have to say. He's, he's kind of schmoovin'. He's kind of schmoovin' with it. Come on. Come on, big boy. Get out that corner. My man schmoovin'. Look at him. He's like moving so damn much. He's like jumping, flipping, doing the skirt skirt. Like holy shit. Agile as fuck for a dead guy. Nice butt cheek, big man. How? How are these hitting me? It's because I keep getting caught underneath his foot. He keeps literally like back dodging into like shit I can't do anything about. And then every single time he swings, he gets like slightly closer, slash like butts up against the wall, and I can't like get him out of the wall. So I have to back up, and every time I back up to try to get him to get out of the fucking corner, like, no, this is the time I'm gonna instantly hit you with damage that you can't dodge. Oh god, I hate fighting Vendrick. I really do. I really do. 20 years of fighting for nothing. Oh, I know I'll get him eventually, but it's just like, it's so stupid. I could have literally killed him probably if I actually had five souls. Because he still has like double HP, I think, right now. Or he's taking like resisted damage right now. I could have literally killed him by now if I had five souls. Always the could-haves. I hate the could 
Because we didn't. But it's still annoying to be able to say that. Like, I could have killed him. I literally could have killed him. But unfortunately, trying to kill the fucking dragon who's gonna one-shot me on bullshit that I can't dodge is something I just will not accept. Maybe if I had more... Honestly, I would fight the dragon again if I literally used, like, a dex weapon as the main weapon. Any dex-based weapon would probably be pretty good. Using a bow in this game just seems so bad, though. Like, I'm struggling to do a fraction of the damage I was doing on caster. That's the whole point of the bow is to, like, quickly shoot off three arrows in quick succession. And that's where my damage comes in, but you have to figure, how long does it actually take me to stand there and shoot three arrows? That's two. It takes me that long to shoot two. But there's three. When do I ever get a chance to stand somewhere that long and shoot three arrows? Scary as fuck every time. Scary as fuck every time I have to challenge him. Because one bad challenge and the game's over. But also, while I'm like semi focusing, I did hear the thingy go off. Thank you for the 100 Billy Shiru and the well wishes and the heart. I'm gonna need it. Oh, you bitch. Stop back dodging into the corner. Literally, stop doing that. Alright, hit him with the punch. You know that's a good... You know that's a good... Look! You know that's a good system when I can accidentally fucking do the thing. When you hit fatigue and you start getting tired, that's when you're able to do plunging attacks. That's all this game's telling me right now. If you get tired, you could start doing plunging attacks. What a joke. This guy's schmoovin'. This guy's looking for that smoke. That's a clean three I can get off right there. Clean three. I got lucky on that one. Got lucky on that one. And got him. 
Alright. That's three bosses down. Or two, I mean. So we got old Vendrick. Lamar. That guy. I don't think coming in here does anything, right? After I killed him. Memory of the King. And your Yeah. So we don't need to do anything here. Turn to last bonfire. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. But yeah, we needed to kill Vendrick. Unfortunately. Is there anybody here in the undead crypt? The fire lady's not in here or anything? Huh? Obviously, that's like his old armor, I believe. Yeah, that's just all his armor, and he was just walking around all nude and shit. Because he got hollowed. Back to town. So now we have options. Yes, we have options. Do we go back to uh what the fuck's that place called? Do we go back to uh Iron Keep? I was like, where is Lady? Do we go back to Iron Keep and fight the smelter? The smelter demon? Or do we If I don't do that. Oh, it still makes way more sense to upgrade decks. That's hilarious. Alright, whatever. We still get more damage based off of decks because of the the bow. The scaling on the bow. So yeah, do we go back and kill the sh or attempt to kill the Schmelter Demon? I'm not going to say I'm going to kill them 100% or not. But do we go back and attempt the Schmelter Demon or... Start. I guess we could just like end the game, because now that we have the ring, the king's ring, we can go that way. So we have to fight three bosses in here, I believe. King's Ring. Okay, we can go all the way down this path here. Throne of Want. And we can go to the throne and do that. Oh, and here's the lady. My journey is already complete. My name is Shanala. Shanala. The dragon gave me this name. For I was born with none. I was born of dragons. Contrived by men. By ones who would cause him fate herself. They are the ones who created me. But they failed. I did not come out as intended. Fate would not be best. And men were cursed once again. If you proceed, Nashandra will come after you. Knowing that you will take the throne and link the fire. She covets the first flame. And the great soul. The great soul. Put Nishandra to rest. Okay. 
Anyway, uh, so from here, we'll put our Ring of Blades back on, because it increases our physical damage. And physical damage is mildly important. So what say you, Shiru? You want us to try to do the Smelter, or are we gonna... Just go on. I'm not gonna do the Dark Lurker, because I forgot how to get to Dark Lurker. I know you have to join a Covenant. And do some, like, weird bullshit to fight him. I have beaten the Dark Lurker before, though. And I'm assuming it wouldn't be that bad on this build. Are we officially going back to fighting the Iron... Or the, the Smelter Demon in the Iron Keep or not? Because we still haven't fought that boss yet. The side boss that I complained about that was hard, that's, like, annoying to fight. We still haven't officially beat that guy yet. Are we going back to fight that guy now? Welcome, our guests are treated with them. Tell me. I like that if you're up for it. When am I ever up to do anything? Gone so soon. Be safe. I don't even know how much damage I'm gonna do to that guy. What's that smelter demon weak to? Magic? Lightning? Gotta be weak to something. Dark? Is a fire demon. Mmm. Mmm. Now I'm thinking. Thinking. My noodles cooking. I don't like it. I don't think he's weak to, uh, standard damage. I'm trying to think what this asshole's weak to. Damage, though. Because, yeah, basically we're done with the game at this point. We got all the, all the pieces we need. We have to just go to the Throne of Want and fight all the bosses in the Throne of the Want. Or Throne of Want. Remember how many shots it took us to do all this crap and we're just like struggling all the time and we're just like giving it to him. Called leveling up, baby. Man, it's been a hot minute.
I can't even see where the swing was coming. I couldn't tell if that was a thrust. Yeah, we can beat him. I don't know if we have enough arrows to do it, but... We could beat him. It's gonna take a couple of tries, though, I feel. And we definitely have to kill all the enemies walking in, because they'll just smack us out of it. I definitely don't think I could drink a potion during that fight. Blown a night gauntlet. Yeah, I don't care about that. No dodge, huh? I can't, I can't dodge. I literally can't dodge. And my hand's getting sweaty as fuck. This is like the one thing I hated the most about having to do this fight. Is once he starts leveling up, he gets like way faster. And the faster he is, the harder it is to heal. There's not really like a safe space for me to heal.
All right, Schmelty. I have a ring on that I don't care about. Okay. Ring of Binding. That ring. I can take Covetous off. I don't think like the souls I'm gonna get from him are gonna matter too much. Er. Yeah, Covetous. What I put on instead? I could put on the Sun Ring. That seems like kind of a meme, but I could. I feel like gradually uh, increase, uh, gradually getting some HP back is probably going to be the best option that I have available to me. To heal or not to heal? That is the question. Hmm. Honestly, as slow as like this HP is going. Answer is I'm gonna passively heal if I t if I take a really long time thinking about this because what I'm thinking about is if I do Sun Ring right, I have a chance of exploding every time he hits me. The problem is I don't heal all the time, but every single time I took damage, I also healed off of it and he also hit me, so then the Sun Ring would trigger right. I feel like that's the play. I feel like the covet is, or the the sun ring like proc twice that whole fight really. Mm. That's kind of shit. I was anticipating it proccing more than that. Uh, what would I take instead then? Oh, 
life ring, I guess? And have slightly more HP to play with? Because he also does burn damage if he's close to me. I feel like that's the play. Because life doesn't seem to matter too much. And I have no way of increasing my damage with rings. I already have the, uh, whatchamacallit ring on. Meaning that I'm free to kind of play the game how I want. I can do it how I feel like it. And that should be good for the next one, alright. Because we don't really need the extra covetous ring. Basically, I don't think we ever put the covetous ring back on, to be fair. Like, this is the epitome of the build we're going to be running for uh, the final confrontations. We beat every boss but the secret hidden boss that's you have to join a covenant for. And I don't really feel like, like I said, doing all that to do that. That's a journey. Honestly, there was a ring that gave me increased... What in the actual fuck? Did I not kill this guy? How? How did I not kill that guy? Oh, this guy finally disappeared. So yeah, af after you do this enough times, I think they like despawn enemies some places. Pick from 1 to 100, easy, 69. Where the fuck is this guy going? Let's go, baby. Where are we going? That's the real question. Where are we going? But also, thank you for the 69 uh, billies, Shiru. Are we? Are we gonna go kick some ass? It seems like my ass is the only one getting kicked at this point. Repeatedly. You bitch. 
Jump off the map. Oh my god, I hate this game. How am I literally like, I'm already walking through the door and the thing's like, nope. So sorry, fuck you. That's so fucking annoying. You miss the stretches that I literally do. Every time. I stretch every time. Hey, did all these guys like despawn? But yeah, I stretch literally every time. If there's a redemption on there, I do the redemption. Ugh. As you can hear, my controller disconnecting because I'm trying to stretch. Where in the Sam hell did you come from? You're ruining my stretch, sir. I was like, you miss me stretching? I don't know why that's a thing, because I literally do it every time. There's like nothing to miss when I do the thing. Mid dodge, by the way. How is this fair? How is it fair? I'm literally getting hit mid thing. I'm literally mid dodge. It's like, nope, hit, 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 hit. Clearly the life ring's stupid. Uh, let's do increased fire defense. I'm so fucking stupid. There's literally nothing I can do. The game's just gonna hit me. Like, I can't get out of it. There's no dodging it. There's no, like, trick play secret maneuvering to get around this damage. Like, you just get hit. See, the game started feeling bad, so it just started despawning enemies.
Okay. Okay. If the game really wanted to help me out, they would despawn the smelter demon and I wouldn't have to fight him. I died to the fire from his chest. It's not fair. I could have got that heal off. I could have literally got that heal off. You know what would really help me out here is if I actually had the, those souls. I could take those souls back in the town and upgrade my uh, chest piece and probably get a little bit more um, defense and uh, fire resist. Unfortunately, Have to kind of beat the boss and or take or like wait for the boss to do the transition phase and uh feather out which is probably a good play honestly because if i die here and i don't actually collect those souls uh i just have to rely on killing the boss to get more arrows as well as other things which is probably not a smart play Somebody said it was a smart man, though, you know?
<laughs> he was down to three. What a nerd. But yeah, th this boss is like a caster's worst nightmare. Got a flame, we got a whole bunch of flame butterflies, some other shit, and then we have this bonfire right here. Which is why it makes it easier coming this way, especially on your first time, because look, we're just up here now. We have access to this upper section. This is why it's a really easy slash like quick bonfire that people typically try to grab. All right, Chiru. We're kind of getting to that time. We're getting to that time, my friend. Hopefully, you're still here watching. Come on. I need you. I need you to fight me. I don't want you harassing me while I'm going down to the boss room. Or going over to get arrows. There we go. But it's getting to be that time. The time where we have to retire Dark Souls. Because we only have three more bosses. Not counting the secret boss, like I said, that I'm not going to do. Because I'm not going to go join the Covenant and do all that shit. Welcome. Light the torches. I did it on my first playthrough. It's a pain in the ass to go and fight that one. We'll buy some magic arrows, in case. We don't have enough stuff to level up anyway, so... Like that, what am I planning after it? You're just gonna have to wait along for the ride, Chiru. You have like zero patience. Like a, like a little kid. You gotta just enjoy the ride. Alright. You know what? All you need to know slash should expect is it's gonna be fun. For me. The most important person. It'll be fun for me. Uh, to the throne. There shouldn't be a single enemy on the way to the throne, by the way, as far as I remember. I want to see how bad this is going to be. By the way, can you believe that big motherfucker walked along this? King Vendrick. That tall ass, like 10 foot tall motherfucker. Oh, he had to have been over 10 feet tall. It didn't matter. That tall ass motherfucker walked along this. Can you believe that shit? I don't.
How dare you imbue your weapon with lightning? Oh yeah, I remember why this was annoying now. It's coming back to me. You gotta kill both of them equally. Got him. <clears throat> I'm gonna stand right here. For reasons. By the way, that, that tall lady that we saw in the other room, this is her. This is Nishandra. Queen. Now be one with the dawn. Hey, shh. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I made it. I'll be back. I'll be back, madam. By the way, we can completely leave there and come back, because, uh... Well, I mean, we can. We're freely allowed to do that. It was not looking good there for a second, though. 
Uh, reinforce armor. Because our one piece is like as strong as it's gonna be. We can reinforce this and make this a little stronger though. To help with defense. Should be good. A little extra girth on that. Back to the castle. But that doesn't actually reset us. We, we don't have to do every single boss fight back to back to back to back. We can teleport out, come back. Which, thank God. But also, it gives me a chance to thank Shiru for the 31 billies. That's very kind of you. Also, while we're here, we can take off the Covetous Ring and put the King's Ring back on. And because Nishandra is the last boss lady, or the last official boss lady of the game, I'm gonna leave the Covetous Ring on and leave the King's Ring on for reasons. I think I need to have the King's Ring on anyway. I don't 100% remember, but. I like that. I'm going to be thanking you a lot today. What if I end the stream after I'm done with this game? Technically speaking, we only have... 15 minutes of gameplay if I do it perfectly. We could also be here for 8 hours, so... It just depends. But I could be here for a long time. We don't know. We may never know. We're going to do our first attempt, though. I'm back. By the way, there's there's another cutscene that happens when we t when we come into her room. So the first time around, I think, yeah. The first time around, she comes to the door and does her, her like, cool shit and whatnot. This time around, she's already standing in here. I think that's kind of cool. If I remember correctly, either these stay on the field and or follow me. I don't remember. That definitely hurt, though. Her music is good. By the way. No idea why I'm randomly getting cursed, but alright. I'm assuming it has something to do with the fields um, out there.
All right, well, there's no Chandra did. <laughs> Final boss of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Final boss of the game, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody else. Ladies and gentlemen, non-binary, boys, girls, uh, LGBTQIA friends and family. Okay, yeah, we'll be we'll be we'll be back. We'll be back. The true final boss of this particular game, aka uh, Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin, Aldia, who is, as I've said multiple times, you know, previously on stream. Aldia was the first king. Vendrick was the second king. Aldia went to go and try to prolong like the bonfire, I think, and like try to like find like eternal life or whatever. And Samai succeeded, but kind of failed at the same time. So it became that weird abomination thing. But at least he still kept his sanity. We also did kind of just kill his brother. So he might not be happy about that. I don't have any astuce shards. Alright. No more astuces. Astuce! Uh, reinforce. For the last time, probably. Fix this up for the last time, blacksmith. We were together for a short while, but a good while. I'll be around. I also just love the music. I love the Aldia fight music. Let's go see if we can't get that W. Like I said on the last stream, we have enough content that it could be, you know, a couple hours. It could have been all day. It looks like we kind of breeze through some of these sections. And it seems like some of the side enemy fights. Okay, the optional fight to kill, uh, specifically the ancient dragon. The Ancient Dragon was actually like a fight I was anticipating was going to take a lot longer. Ancient Dragon and Smelter Demon both I thought were going to take a lot longer than they did. Granted I did spend like an hour-ish on um, the dragon, but all the other fights kind of went smoothly. Like Vendrick kind of went down with relative ease after he stopped cheating me, but obviously like there is a gimmick to his fight. Uh, Spelter Demon I got eventually. We like it d got down to the last bit of HP, but I got him. Uh, who else did we have? Nishandra just like fell over. Nishandra usually does like more bullshit, but I guess she just wanted me to finish the game or something because she's not that hard of a boss fight. But typically the game doesn't just like hand you a win like that, but she definitely did. And yeah. Go mess up Aldia. Scholar of the First Sin.
Oof. That's also why that, that thing has a really long channel time. It's because uh, it does a lot of damage. Aldia himself isn't that hard, but yeah, I was hoping... <clears throat> I was literally hoping that what I would, the precautions I took early on and like the reinforces I just did right now were going to be enough to save me for this fight. Evidently not. Evidently not. This is going to be a doozy of a fight. Luckily, we have a lot of arrows. Luckily. I had, I literally was standing there the whole time too and it still hit me. Alright. 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 Get off the thing. Ooh. I belted him out fast enough that time. As far as I could tell, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure Aldia doesn't have any weaknesses to anything. Pretty sure we just have to hit him with raw damage and just run. But since we have some faith, uh, it, it just makes more sense to use this that we currently have. Unfortunately, I got a lot of damage. Oh, so I'm pretty sure he has like over 5,000 HP, so if we're doing 300-ish of volley, because we're doing 186, right? Plus or minus what we're doing at range. Uh, yeah, we, we, got, we got a ways to go. This was way easier on my uh, elementalist. Absolutely.
Not bad. Not bad. I had a good volley right there. I couldn't even move! He was already on me! Come on, bro. That's not fair. I didn't even have time to react. It was like, the, the circle spawned right on my head. <clears throat> That's unlucky. That is unlucky. And unfriendly. Well, if you're lucky, <laughs> I might never beat this, and then we'll just do this forever, and then it'll be like a giant stream of this. That doesn't really sound that fun, nor do I really want to do that, but it is a thing that could transpire. But will it? It could. That's all I have to say, really. We really could be stuck here forever. Do I want that to happen? No, but could it happen? Yeah, absolutely.
If dying on repeat over and over and over again seems like fun to you people. We have two different concepts of fun. Because I'm definitely not having a good time right now. The annoying balls. Not bad. I think this is phase two because he yeah, had the music's changing. Meaning now he should start teleporting on top of me. When he does the teleport. damage. Ooh, that was close. Good night, sweet prince. Victory achieved. And we get nothing for doing this. We literally get nothing for doing this. I will carry you and remain here patiently. Shh, shh. The throne will certainly receive you. But the question remains. What do you want? Tell me. Light, dark, or something else entirely. Light, dark, or something else entirely. What do you want, Shiedu? Proceed to the throne. By the way, this is where the entire game's budget went, because this cutscene looks amazing. Like, the, the, the graphical fidelity of this thing is off the charts. Look at how nice everything looks. Look at all the particle effects. Look at how sexy I look. Once the fire is linked, souls will flourish anew, and all of this will play out again. It is your choice to embrace or renounce this.
great sovereign, take your throne. What lies ahead, only you can see. And there's the end of the game. What a... What a good game. Once you played it once and you know all the bullshit and like whatnot, like the game's actually not that bad. I have experienced worse things. Not that bad. But what a fun game. Uh, HP Big Lame killed it, honestly. We were struggling so hard at the fucking beginning of this game. Oh my god. The bow only start, and I said I would only use bow. Oh my god. Why would I ever do that to myself? That was a hard fought one. But we got her in the end. We got her and we did it. We clapped it out. Alright, I'm gonna go to the bathroom because. I haven't done any breaks or anything at all, so I'm gonna let the cutscenes play out, you know, let you guys enjoy the wonderful music that Dark Souls always has. I'm gonna let it play out. And yeah, I'll be back. I'll be back to transition the game to something else. One second. Also, I'm just gonna pat myself on the back, because I can. Congratulations to me for streaming every single day for 60 days plus in a row now. Yay! Consistent. It was, has it, have I started all the same times? No, but... Have I done that? Yes. Have they all been like decently length streams? No. But did I turn the stream on for 60 days in a row? Every single day? Yes. I was thinking about that while I was in the bathroom. I was like, holy fuck, I've been streaming consistently every single day. <laughs> Granted, some of the late night streams, like on the weekends, when I'm fucking tired and I had to like wrangle dogs and I had to do chores and I had to do like late, like fucking yard labor and whatnot. I was tired as a bitch. 
but streamed every single day. I'm so, I'm so happy about myself for doing that. I really want to grow this community. I really do. I would love nothing more than to see more pandies in the in the chat. I'm actually surprised nobody has redeemed Dance Break yet. Maybe just because it, it costs so many channel points, but I feel like you got channel points to spare, Shiru. You're here like every day consistently. Also, my arm's fucked up. Dogs literally obliterated my arm. That's why that's the dance break. I've had that song in my head for like, you don't know how long, because for whatever reason it took so long for me to edit that video and to make it play. I love that. The little dance break. It took so long for me to get that thing to work. It wanted no part of working properly. It's also very loud for me, so... Yeah. This game's like bullshit and obnoxious. Like, you guys saw every single time I complained, I feel like it was reasonable. Like, the gulch with the fucking, like, statues that just keep shooting poison's fucking obnoxious. The, like, black gulch or whatever. Or the gutter. Where, like, it was completely blacked out and you have to go everywhere with a torch and light it. And if if you didn't know something was about to happen, you'd just, like, get knocked off the map or die or fall through a thing and die. Um, the beginning of the game was, like, unreasonably hard and there, everybody had a firebomb. And firebombs early game are, like, insta-kills. Uh, it, it's hard to tell where you're going. It's hard to know, like, where the next logical progression is. You have to specifically have at least one your branch to get to Shaded Woods. From Shaded Woods lets you get over to the Scorpion Ness, which then lets you go to, uh, the Darling Freya, the, the giant spider thing. But you wouldn't know about that logical progression. And then for, uh, Sinner's Rise, you either have to find, uh, Pharaoh or Pharaoh's locks box you have to put it in a specific thing that you don't know it's there in order to get an elevator to bypass the ruined sentinels otherwise you have to go kill the pursuer go or sit in the nest which takes you to the other tower the other tower opens up the other side which then you can also use to bypass uh that to go to sinner's rise there's just so much bullshit where you're like hmm how do i get to sinner's rise uh, like at the end of the day how do i get to sinner's rise because you have to kill the the lost sinner or whatever at the bottom through the the phalanx sentry guy that's chilling there you have to make that whole venture before you can even like get there to the boss fight and then the boss fight's annoying as fuck i forgot um those cells that we opened on the left and right with the bastille key we could have actually lit those and we would have a little bit more light in the boss room but i forgot to do that because I, I, di I didn't even think to like light those weird effigies or whatever you want to call them because obviously like, they have like a trail of oil that would lead to the boss room i just didn't think about it at the time i completely forgot but yeah, i was like it's so dark in here and the targeting system's so shit it's very unreasonable i was like hmm it's so unreasonable that I, after the stream when i ended i was like oh yeah i can light those i think and then it gives me more light but i completely forgot about it i had completely forgot about it it escaped my memory my mammaries, if you will. For all the English speakers that know what mammaries are. I can officially unplug my controller forever. We did it. We did it. Until hope with it. I'm on keyboard right now, by the way, so. Don't know how to talk to this lady. It's E to do that? 
Oh no. How do you do anything? I don't know how to do anything on keyboard, so we're just gonna we're just gonna piece out of this shit. Let's get the hell out of here. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, good game. Good game. Solid run. Alright. So now, what are we going to do? Well, first, I need to go into Steam and go back to online mode. Because none of the games are going to let me play them on offline, probably. Let's restart our Steam. And do that. Second of all, what sounds like fun to you, Shiru? You guys want to, or do you want to see more Deus Ex, or you want to leave that for, like, the late night stream for now? Still. Well, I was going to start Hotline Miami 2, since we already finished Hotline Miami 1. I also can grind in some Path of Exile, but that's like, by myself and that's boring, kind of. Um... Ma, 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 ma. Hotline Mi what's Hotline Miami? Ho oh, wait, you weren't here for the... You weren't here for the late night streams, I forgot. We'll do Hotline Miami too. I forgot you weren't here at all for any of the late night streams because you're a fake fan. I forgot. Devolver Digital. I think these fake fans, man. Uh, this game contains scenes that allude to sexual violence. Would you like to skip those scenes? The video game. Hmm. Let me let me check to see because I was like I would like to show the video game, but at the same time, sexual violence is not a good thing because I'm assuming that that is alluding to rape. Oh wait, no, it, it alludes to it, so it's saying that it, it's probably transpiring. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I was like, I want to really, really, really make certain. Okay, it doesn't seem like... So it just says allude to, meaning that I can probably stream it. Alright, so we're not skipping them. Because... I don't want to skip any part of the game because it's going to give me reason to think and do things a certain way or, or like it's going to captivate me to play the game even if they're hard to see. Wait, did I actually click skip? I don't even know. Whatever. David Bradshaw. Floor clear. I got like a big beer gut. She's upstairs. So get or so go get her. You know what? Give my bat though. 
So, what's this? So that's probably the way out. Pick up the shotgun. Where the hell is the shotgun at? In the bathroom? You got out of the bathroom. She's 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 clearly naked over here. Well, I'm trying to find the shotgun though. Cut. Hold right bumper to skip. All right, that's a wrap. Good job, people. We'll do a reshoot tomorrow, so try to stay in character. We're gonna film in the scene where you carry her to your car on Thursday. Now, for you two. Pigman, well done. But don't be afraid to be rougher. You're supposed to be killing people. Make it look like you really hit them. And you there, Blondie. You need to work on your femininity. Act more helpless and scared, you know, more girly. Now go home and get some rest. I'll see you both tomorrow, okay? Wrong number. Hotline Miami 2. First act, exposition. I was like, this guy looks beat the fuck up. His eye, it looks like he got shot in his eye. Man, this party stinks. I fucking hate these people. Who invited all these morons? What do you guys think about tonight? Are we gonna do it? I don't see why not. I'm sick of this shit. Yeah, let's do it. The weapons are in the car, right? So... We're actually doing this? Yeah. Let's go do it. Who the fuck am I? Oh, I'm Duck Guy. Wait, no. Wait, what? This is Duck Guy, though. Why am I Duck Guy? I have the duck. I am the duck. First scene, down under. We're Cory? We got a roll dodge. Oh, shit. Like I got my gat sideways like a chad. <laughs> Level clear. Kills, combo, flexibility, mobility, boldness, time bonus, special. So wait, the number we get on the left is the thing, so why is the base score 3500 then? But we get a B plus for that. I don't understand how this game works. Mask unlocked. Tony. We just generic fat guy? Who are we? Looks like it. Also, there's these people with g gats and shit over here. 
Happy Halloween, sir. You ordered three pizzas, right? That'll be fourteen fifty, sir. Your pizzas are on the counter till you're left. Enjoy your meal. Watch out for ghosts tonight, okay? Bye. Thanks for the pizza, asshole. Driving down the streets of Miami. Doo -doo -doo. 1941. October 25th. We're this guy. I'm assuming not pizza dude. Leaving already? You don't look too good. Are you okay? Been a stressful day. You wouldn't believe what they have me doing. I should probably go home and get some sleep. Alright. You have a nice night. You too, sweetheart. Go to car. Go to car if I want. Second scene. Homicide. I was like, what's in here? Let's see. Drop your weapon and get down on the ground now! Don't shoot! I'm a detective! Here's my badge! Oh. Sorry, sir. Sorry, weapons, boys. What's the situation in there? We heard gunfire. Yeah, you go look for yourselves. It's a bloodbath in there. Man, sometimes I hate this city. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that a shotgun in my trunk? Interesting. That is also my score on the left. Interesting. A minus, not bad. So we are an actual detective. We're not, we didn't just like flash a fake badge or anything like that. Cause we didn't. I guess we didn't have a mask. What up, dude? Nice, uh, nice recording software you got here. Oh, he did. Another murder case, huh? Yeah. Looks like you got a serial killer on your hands, Pardo. Same MO as the guy we found last week. Message and all. I'm innocent. They forced me to do it. Yeah, right. Haven't heard that before. The guy must be some kind of psycho, huh? Creeps me out. Oh, and this is the other guy. Guess I'll have to make the press happy, though. Goddamn vultures. With all the murders in this city, I doubt they'll even care. 
Seems they need buckets of blood before they even raise an eyebrow. This just seems a bit too standard. No gory details. God. This city sure makes your skin thick. Oh. I was born with thick skin. Have you guys found any clues? Not really. He got his throat slit. Haven't found the murder weapon yet. No finger paints. In paints. Oh, prints. No finger paints. Er, paints. I keep doing it again. No finger prints. No witnesses. Nothing. I'll let you know if anything turns up. You do that. I'll head down to the station and get started on the paperwork. All right. Have a nice night, sir. Yeah. We'll see about that. You gotta do like the, the the gruff and grizzled like deep voice because they're all like smokers. Cause all the all the hard shit that they've experienced. You gotta give a little, you gotta give a little bit of a raspy voice. You know what I'm saying? You gotta give them a little bit of uh, shit hard, yo. Stop. Rewind. Twenty eighteen. Oh, I just cut my hair, I think. Pizzas and all that shit. Good day. This is Eric from Miami Auto Repairs. I'm calling to tell you that we have finished service. Oh, who is this? Let me talk to your boss, okay? Swing on by Northwest Twelfth Avenue place and pick her. I'm talking to her. We guarantee you the best service in town. Don't you hang up on me, damn it! Show some goddamn respect. What if I don't go though? Like this game is anticipating I'm just gonna leave and do the thing that they want me to do. But why? I have no reason to do this. Right? Like the game hasn't told me why I'm doing this. Third scene. Hard news. Oh, I can't pick. Or it won't let me slide around. Alright, that's fine. Jake, lethal throw. I'm assuming if I throw a weapon, it's lethal. Or an item or whatever. Nothing, nothing. I'm gonna go in the back of my car and I got a gap. Oh shit, those are windows. Head in. Stop his head in. Oh my god, that was actually a good clear. I love the music. They're trying to depict a story, but we don't really know what the story is. We just 
kind of like walked in the middle of it. Basically, if you weren't here for a Hotline Miami 1 that we played, we, we beat the entire like Hotline Miami 1 game on stream. If you weren't here for that, like it might be a little confusing watching this. I feel like. Got him. Well, clearly we killed this guy and we stole his bag. Or not his bag, his briefcase. And we're leaving out the front now. And evidently we had to do something for that. But usually these games have a story that they're kind of trying to like interweave in the, in the back end. You kind of just have to like piecemeal it together. Woo! That's a lot of points. I feel like just judging by the color right there, that's probably a good sign. Ooh, we got an A. A for ass. Like your mama ass. Oh, we got Irvin. Irvin. So we killed this guy. We got his briefcase. We have like a... Is that our drawstring on our pants? Or is that like a, our wee-wee? What, what am I looking at? Oh, this is our mask. That's the mask. Okay. What's what am I looking at? Though so clearly somebody's getting like operated on or they're getting watered because there's water out of this thing. It's like a medical thing and it clearly he's like operating on this guy. So something's going on over here. Hi there. Welcome. What can I help you with? I like to get a tattoo. Oh, he's getting a tattoo. Right. Uh, right. You got anything particular in mind? I want old Dixie, right here, on my shoulder. Okay, sure. Let me see here. Right. How does next Friday, 2 p.m. sound? Friday? What do you mean? You can't do it right now? It has to be today. Today's a special occasion. I'm celebrating. Sorry, boss. Can't help you. We're all booked for days. Oh, is that so? What kind of business are you running here? You just lost yourself a customer, you Russian asshole. Look, I assumed it was Russian. Whatever you say, boss. He mad as well. Is this Ellen? Everybody hates Ellen. Because she did, like... Something. I forget what she did, but everybody hates Ellen. I was like, what the hell do voice do I want to do for like an Ellen type person? There's like a snobby asshole. Hold on, hold on, I got, I got, we're gonna, we're gonna test out voices live for a second. I like, I, I like to welcome our next guest on the show. <laughs> Trying to do like a higher, higher pitched, almost like girl voice with your nose closed is like hilarious. I'd like to welcome our next guest to the show. <laughs> That's what we're going with. It sounds so stupid. It's perfect for that bitch. I'd like to welcome our next guest to the show. Famous for critically acclaimed movies such as... Well, okay. The Calm and Land of Trees. It's but fun. Hi, Martin. How are you? What the fuck's Martin Brown? This guy looks like he's cracked. Why does everybody look like they're cracked and have like weird snake eyes? I'm good. Uh, LA is film. 
is a bit of a step in a new direction for you. A lot of people are surprised by this. Some are even calling you a sellout. I can't fix the music, by the way. This is gonna have, it's gonna have to be how it is for a second. What is your response to that? I'll try to speak louder, I guess. Because we're like in a cutscene. A sellout, huh? How do you mean? Wow! Some are saying that Midnight Animals is another slasher flick! That's not how it seems. Or, that's not how I see it. I've wanted to do this for a long time. Kill kids, strangle them, beat people's heads in, rip their eyes out. Just listen to them scream. See them die in agony. I finally get to do that now. Okay. No, no, look at me like that. Wah, wah. I, I see. This is a, a dream, right? Uh, Why? What do you mean? <laughs> look, look at this. All of this. It's just a dream, right? I'm on the UFO. Okay, pause. Oh shit! The chicken. Oh shit, dude. This is weird. You think this is a dream? Well then, maybe it's time to wake up! Who, who are you? Who am I? I'm not the one being interviewed here, am I? I think I should be the one asking the questions. This movie you're making, you know how it ends. I believe there's a pretty big twist at the end. I doubt you'll like it. In fact, I don't think anyone will. Maybe you ought to get out before it's too late. I, I, I don't think so. You really enjoy hurting other people, don't you? It's just a film. Just a film, huh? That's one way to look at it. I'm not controlling anything, by the way. Oh, is this pig guy? Am I pig guy? I think I'm pig guy. Uh, let's knock both of these down a little bit. Specifically, the music? Let's see if that helps. Looks like the police... Wait, what? Looks like the police is here. The girl must have told on you. Better go along obediently. They'll take you to her. That's what you want. Is it? Hold it right there, sir! We are here to arrest you! You need to come with us. We'll take you down to the, the, the station. D do you understand what I'm s s saying? Fourth scene. Final cut. <clears throat> we know what you've been up to. And you're gonna fry for it. The girls upstairs is giving us her full statement right now. Soon, they'll be on their way down here for you. So then, you're stuck with me. I'd like to ask you why you did what you did, but... You don't even know yourself, do you? Look at you. You're fucked. Completely fucked. In the head. Aren't you? Why else would anyone be killing kids in a pig's mask, huh? It, it, it's the phone. You should answer it. 
I'll say it again. There is no phone. I don't see no phone, and I don't hear no phone, okay? It's just a figment of your imagination, you hear me? You're insane. A maniac. Soon enough, you'll pay for your crimes. The telephone. You're not gonna answer? <sighs> There's just no point talking to you, is there? I like how they punches on the door. You know what needs to be done. He's not even looking. It's like he wants you to kill him. Now. Oh shit, dude. Let me in there. Are these two dudes kissing? What am I what am I looking at right here? It's like, it's pixelated. I can't tell what's going on. Let me pause the game so I can do that hydrate. I gotta pause the game because I don't want to have the timer going. Alright, let's go. Did he just shoot me from the door for- Oh no, the guy in front of me shot me. I was like, did he shoot me literally in the door? Mm, that guy's a- that guy's a Glock. That guy's a Glock Glock. Hard to do this quickly. Do all three of them have guns? They do. No, that was, the middle one has a nightstick. Okay. So if I shoot, shotgun guy comes out first. Okay. Couldn't get back around the corner. Come on, bro. Hard to control this. The gun is not really like where you would want it to be. And then I walk through that guy. You know what? Let me just like nightstick this guy. Honestly. Okay, I missed somehow. I walked up to him, hit him with the nightstick, and the game's like, nope. You missed, asshole. You missed again. Okay. The problem is I gotta move fast through this. And the moving fast gets me in trouble. I shot the wall. <laughs> it's not fair. Can I get back on the stairs once I'm up here? I can. Ah, 
How? Are they just like standing around? They're literally like... Not a single person cares about gunshots apparently. In this police station. Okay, that guy randomly decided to kick the door in. Alright. Shot twice, literally at that guy. Didn't matter. Okay. Shot before he made the corner, still hit. Oh, I put the bullet in the guy that was on the ground. Stay in here and you'll be safe. I'm gonna go see what's going on. Don't open the door until I get back, no matter what. Can I have the gun with the shotgun shells in it though, please? There's no way he's dead. There's no way he's dead still. How many shots does he take? Oh, okay, I have to rip his head off. Okay. Well, if it was just gonna be that easy. Why didn't the game notify me of the head ripping off function? Kick the door in. It didn't stop the first guy at all. Not only that. Okay, that guy somehow beats me. All right. Okay. You're really tired of literally shooting people with a shotgun, and they're just like, nope. We can walk through that. I kicked the door in and it did nothing. Okay. okay. It's busy down that way.
Get keys. Captain keys. Where are the keys at? Oh, this guy has them. Get her. Put a bullet in my head. I'm not your fucking girlfriend. Oh shit, I got eviscerated. Restart. Cut! No need for a retake. That was perfect! Good job, guys. Spectacular performances. Only got a few more shots to shoot before we can move on to editing. Why don't you go grab something to eat while we put up the new set pieces? Just make sure you're back in 30 minutes, okay? Time is money. You heard him, Martin. Time to get up. Martin? That was a real gun, bro. She shot me with a real gun. I feel like you would notice a real gun. There's like, there's like a weight to a real gun. Oh, did we clear A? Oh, we got a B. That's not bad. We got into orange here, though. Alright. Get him. We did get him, Shiru. Also, thank you for the 200 billies. I will be right back. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. And then we'll keep going. So one second. I'll be back. All right, Dad B is back. Let's go. Was the audio good that time around, Chiyudu? I'm assuming, since you're still here. Hopefully you're here. I don't know. Was was the game over it, powering me that time around with the music? Because now I can keep turning it down. Second act. Rising. Rising! 1656. We're in some kind of United States something or other. I see the eagle with the shield. <clears throat> now, the defendant claims that he was ordered to commit these murders through messages left on his answering machine. Did you investigate these claims? Yes, we did. And what did you find? Well, the defendant's answering machine was empty. The tape had been removed. Did you find anything supporting these claims of threatening phone calls? No, sir, we did not. I see. No further questions. You say you found no physical evidence supporting my client's claims? 
Then what about phone records? Surely the police would have no difficulty accessing such information. Indeed, we did investigate the defendant's phone records. And did you find any calls on record that could support my client's claims? We did, sir. The defendant seems to have received phone calls that matched the frame which he or the time frame which he suggests, but did you manage to trace these calls? If so, where did they come from? We traced the calls to a nightclub called the Golden Truck Stop, yes. Now, my client claims that he was coerced by the Russian Mafia to commit the crimes for which he is now being prosecuted. Do the police have any knowledge of ties between the Golden Truck Stop and the Russian Mafia that could support my client's claims? The venue has been linked to several mob-related crimes in the past, yes. However... That would be all. Thank you. No further questionings. Well, the witness might have found. The court will now be on time. The training will be continued tomorrow at 11 a.m. Meanwhile, the defendant will remain in police custody. This guy diddling himself? Oh no, this is the duck, right? This is duck guy. I'm duck guy. I'm ducky. Old ducker. Ducker ducker do. Are these all like stone people? Or are is this just like... I'm the only focal point right now. Make a phone call. Beep 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 boop boop. You have reached the Miami Police Department. How may I help you? I'd like to talk to Detective Pardo. Tell him it's from Evan. One moment, please. What do you want, Evan? I'm in the middle of something here. Hi, Manny. I'm at the courthouse, doing research on that mass maniac. What's that got to do with me? Well, they mentioned the golden truck stop. Something about mob connections. So, I was wondering if you know anyone there that I could talk to. That's privileged information. You know I can't talk about things like that. Look, I'm really busy here. Hold me like that now. You owe me one, remember? Fine. Go to Northwest 37th Avenue, ask for a Petrov, and tell him I sent you. Can't promise he'll talk, but it's the only name I've got. Don't call me at work again, okay? No more favors. I was like, where the fuck am I? Oh shit, the cameraman? The, the cami mans? The cami mammies? This guy's about to shoot somebody up. There's another cameraman right here. Some polices. Whoop whoop, that's the sound of the police. Whoop whoop, that's the sound of the bees. Whoop whoop. That's the sound of the police. Whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the bees. No, we're good? Alright, perfect. So, we're, are we in fact duck guy? I can't actually tell. It kind of looks like we are, but... Don't know. Fifth scene. First trial. Northwest 37th Avenue. I have a drink here, bruh. Alright. This timer thing makes it so that I have to pause the game at weird intervals. Wait. Hold right there, sir. Oh, wait, no. This, this is Russian, Ma, right? My Russian accents are always bad. How the fuck do you say hold it with a Russian accent? do you say this?
True, I could do Google Translate in English to Russian. I feel like if I alt tab the game, it's gonna break it though. My game. Whatever. How do I do that? Let's see. Google Translate. Uh. Russian. Where the hell's Russian? R. Polish? No. There it is. No, it's gonna make me do the thingies. Hold it. That's in English. In English. Hold it. Hold it. So it is kind of like Norwegian, all right? Hold it. Weird. Hold it right there, sir. And then I got, then I got like what is that? I got finish. Hold it. Right there, sir. You need an invitation to get in. Yeah, fuck it, whatever, it's good enough. It's good enough! I'm getting... I'm, I'm trying to do like 900 different languages, or not languages, voices here. It's a pain in the ass. I, I don't want to have the TTS do the thing. That's lame, I just wanted to try it. You're bad. I'm here to see Petrov. Tell him Detective Pardo sent me. I don't think so. And then I got French, all right. If you don't have an invitation, you better leave. I got enough. I beat the shit out of him and then I'm giving him CPR. Well, he did. Him dead. Help! Somebody called ambulance! There's been an accident! Is there anyone here? <laughs> Alright, well, they're clearly they're gonna shoot me on sight. Got it. This is a shoot on sight type deal, feller. Shoot on sight. Your L for L, feller. Mount him. Have sex with his corpse. Can I get off of him though? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Am I not allowed to have a gun? Oh, because I'm a cop probably. Man, those pigs are busy shooting everybody. Don't worry, this police officer here can't hold a gun. But I tell you what, he'll go around beating everybody's skulls in with a baseball bat. It ain't against the law if it's a baseball bat, you see? How the actual fuck am I supposed to get through this section? But I can't pick up half the weapons. What kind of corrupt police officer am I? Can't even beat Russian mobsters in the head to death. Come on. Hmm. 
Dude, the backswing is like so rough. Come on, get on him. Get on him. Have sex with him. Kiss his sister. Kiss his sister. Well, that was a gun. Why? I swear I'm like trying to like have sex with him more than I am trying to just like hit him with a bat. Like just hit him and let's go. Like you mount him, then you get stuck on him, and then you can't literally like swing the bat. It's just like, let's go. Let's go. He shot a he shot my bat midair. Come on, bro. That's not fair. Swing, batter, 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 swing, batter, batter, swing. Okay, knife beats bat. Good to know. Knife beats bat. Dude, it won't let me look that far over. Help me. Game. Oh, wait, I just disarmed the gun. That's all I do. Oh, yeah, I just dumped the mags. Oh, my God. What a freaking piece of shit cop. Pretending like you give a shit about anybody. Literally beating these people to death with a bat. <laughs> Come on. Give my bat back. Why is he like, what is he rubbing himself for over there? Why is there just a guy in the bathroom with a bat? Are you Petrov? I'm writing a book about the uh, mask maniac. Detective Pardue told me I could talk to you about it. Detective Pardue told you that? He a friend of yours? That's right, sir. Not a very good friend, I take it. Sending you here of odd places. No. I reckon you're right about that, sir. This book you're writing. It must be very important to you. Risking your life to come talk to me. You should have got balls. Well, what is it you want to know?
You get two questions. Then you get the fuck out of here. All right. Well, police claims the mass murderers were a part of a vigilante movement. Are you of the same opinion? No. I don't think they were vigilantes. They were much too organized. They knew our exact locations and had insight into our inner workings. I don't know what they were a part of, but it was no group of vigilantes. Why do you think they targeted the Russian Mafia specifically? What were they after? I can't tell you what they were after, but they effectively destroyed our whole organization and then they were gone. They knew what they were doing and they seemed to be trained very well. We caught a couple of them alive, tried to break them. None of them talked. Not a single one. Alright, no more questions. Get the hell out of my sight. Yeah, I know my accent works sometimes, but I don't know I don't know how to do the accent for all words, god dang it. Yeah, because I, I literally need to have heard the words beforehand to know how to do an accent properly. I can do the accent, I just need to hear Russian people speaking more. Not, they're not always using convoluted language. Yeah, suka bliet. So uh, I, can't, I can't just constantly be like, oh yeah, let me just like, uh, here, here's infinite time to do Russian practice. Also, why did nobody tell me that the stupid thing didn't update? Shiru, most importantly. What good are you if you don't tell me when the thing doesn't update properly? I, I had to click out of the thing to realize it wasn't in the thing. We got the D. What a day. What? Did something happen? No. Well, yeah. That guy, Pit Trial, he wouldn't see me. I almost got beaten up just trying to get in. <laughs> you actually went there. Didn't figure you would. Man, sometimes I wonder why I hang out with you. When did you become such a douchebag? Well, I did tell you to write about that Miami mutilator instead, didn't I? A much more sophisticated case. Really? And you wouldn't have to talk to the mob. People will have forgotten about those vigilantes by the time your book's out. Besides, I bought your beard, right? And you didn't really get hurt, did you? Let's call it even, huh? Thanks for the beer and all, but you still owe me one. All right, all right. Don't forget, I'm putting my job on the line. If anyone finds out I'm giving you leads, that'll be it for me. See, look, it's about time you actually helped out. Yeah, I, I, got, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. You didn't miss much anyway. It's mostly just me talking anyway. <laughs> You'll be fired for incompetence, so Mr. Me or misconduct before that happens. I'm surprised they haven't fired you already. I'm tired. Let's get out of here, okay? Yeah, I should get some sleep too. You want to ride? I'll take my chances on the bus. Sounds like fun on the bone. I take my chances on the bus, failure. Tell you what, about to drive down my air, my.
Ugh, sorry, we're going somewhere special tonight. Uh, yeah. My friend Jack told me about this place down on Northwest 184th Street. Real shithole. The whole building's occupied by junkies and lowlifes. Kinda like this place, huh? Fuck you, Mark. Anyway, his sister's been hanging out with these assholes. Hasn't been home for weeks. He figured we'd get her home and teach her friends a lesson. Wait. Doing house calls for your friends now, are we? Isn't that pretty much what we did last time? I didn't hear any complaints back then. We can't patrol the streets looking for scumbags. We'd be in jail in no time. Yeah. I didn't sign up to be no hero. Rescuing women and shit. That's not my thing. I just want some action. So, you got any better ideas? Or, you would just stay here and argue all night? I sure as hell ain't staying here. I'm ready to roll. Fine. Come along too. But if anything happens to the girl, it's not my problem. Got it? Who the fuck am I? Walrus? Squidhead? Who the, who the fuck am I? Dilbert? I don't even understand what this is about. Look, this guy's all shot up, I think. Let's play on the arcade. Get some boobies. Oh! We're in the red light district! We're in the red light district! We're in the red light district. 16. Moving up. I love this song. Also, isn't this like Future Man's? Like, starting soon. Or like starting stream music. I think. I think this is definitely a Carpenter Brute. Killing punches, no weapons. All right, I'll play as Tony. I'll play it with lethal punches. The fist of justice. Bop, bop. Bop. Rip it up. Kick didn't really do anything, did it? Combo intermediate. Punch, 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 everywhere. Go to punch and shit. It's like punch, 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 punch. Ow, that hurt. I'm just a punchy man.
I got, I got Mac 10. Oof. Got good in the bag. Alright, so I gotta peek the corner and make him come over, alright? Peek the corner and make the guy come over. I was trying to drag it further down so I can actually see around the corner, but the thing didn't go. Didn't punch. I have to suplex the dog before I peek that corner. I punched the dog and it didn't do anything to the next guy. Okay, so I can kill that dog, but the second guy will pounce me, all right. Okay. I'm trying to get like a decent sized combo going. The game's not being kind. I didn't even peek the corner, it just shot. Get her. Me. It wasn't really a good one, but I'll take it. Where is she? Stay back. Whoa. Take it easy there. I'm just here to get you. Brother sent us. We're not going to harm you. My brother? You just killed all my friends. Look. We got a car waiting outside, so drop the gun. It's time to go. We'll drop you off at your brother's. You expect me to go with you? Are you insane? You murdered my friends. You're not taking me anywhere. Now leave me the fuck alone, or I swear. Fine. You have it your way. We're out of here. I don't punch her. Ooh. Yeah. Have fun, I guess, then. Whatever. Are they really your friends, though, if I killed all of them? That's the real question. Can they be your friends if all your friends are dead? Now there's nothing left of anybody. Oh, wait, I went the wrong way. This way, and then this way, right? Back to the atrium. Look at that combo, though. Yeesh! Not a bad little score right there. B minus E? I thought it was a pretty good score. What do I know, though? Mask unlocked. Alex. Alex Ash? Or Alex and Ash? Oh, there's two of them. So, there's two duck dudes. You know what? 
I can't really tell the duck dudes apart because they both have the same fucking duck head thing. And it looks exactly the same, so. But they, they both literally have the same exact duck heads. Which is why that duck mask said Alex and Ash. I'm just gonna use the same voices for those two dudes. Still, whatever. Okay. You done any time soon? This isn't a good time to be messing around. A cop came by this. Saw us like this. I ain't gonna go faster with you bitch- Or, it ain't gonna go faster with you bitchin', okay? Besides, I've been telling you to get the van fixed for weeks now. Right. I still don't see why that'd be my job. It's not my van. Just fucking do it. You're the only one of us who ain't busy with work all day. Well, I, it's like a duck or a goose or something. I don't, I don't really know what the hell it is, to be honest. Take it down to Andy by the chop shop. He owes me one. Fine. Let's get the car running, and I'll do it tomorrow, okay? There. That should do it. Try starting her up. Let's get the hell out of here. Attack. Twenty one thirteen, November twenty first, nineteen ninety one. There's a freaking shark right here. Well, I can do the hydrate now, because this doesn't look like there's a timer on this. There's a lot of interesting things here. Number one. I'm assuming this is Russian mob because they literally had to have like the Russian like hammer and sickle thing right here and the star Russian hammer sickle thing. I'm assuming by that logic these are probably AKs. I don't know why they have like Mac 10s or Uzis or whatever here, but you know that's the thing. But number one, why is the weight bench right here, just like in the middle of the fucking room? Like, it, it, there's no other weights. There's nothing else. There's, there's just a weight bench with a barbell here. Number two. Why is the weight bench stacked next to the ammo? And I can tell this is ammo because the box, which nobody ever does in their right mind, but the box clearly is labeled as ammo. For any of the dumb people, they can't be bothered to figure out where the ammo box is stored. So they have to put ammo on the thing to tell you that it's ammo. What a stupid, stupid thing. This person has a sickle and hammer, like, earring. I feel like I, I don't do accents well enough to like have multiple Russian accents, so. What is the matter? You look a little nervous. Well, boss. Something you need, or something you need to say, just say it. Look, we've known each other for a long time now, boss. You've done a lot for me. No need to be polite. Cut to the point. All right. I want out. I'm getting too old for this. I'm feeling too soft. Too soft? Too soft for what? Shooting people. Putting my ass on the line. I've had a feeling I'm not gonna last much longer for a while now. Been having these dreams. Dreams, huh? You want out? You're out. But first, you have to take care of some business for me, okay? What business? Nothing big. A chop shop downtown. Northwest 32nd Avenue. They're with the Colombians now. Won't give us our cut no more. Don't worry. They're just hoodlums. Nothing you can't handle. And then I'm out? Yes. Uh, I keep like, I keep trying to transition voices. I keep like choking on my tongue. Yes. Yes. So... You are free to come back anytime you change your mind. As a parting gift, grab a sample of our, prod our new product here. Might spice up this new boring lifestyle you've chosen. Okay. Boss. Oh, we get the fancy like. No, I want to. I want the fancy car. Yeah, I take this. This like suburban. 
Seventh scene, no mercy. Northwest 32nd Avenue. I got a blapper and a skateboard. Uzi guy got me. Oh, those are windows, okay. So, windows, Uzi guy. Like, I didn't even care. <laughs> Literally broke the arcade machine. He's like, that's cool. I don't even like that game anyway. Uh, I'm not free to leave yet, I don't think. Give me the shotgun. I gotta go to the other side now of the warehouse. Who did them? That dog literally came right through that, that door. No stops. No stops, no fucks given. They both peeked the door at the same time. Emptied. Where was that guy? I shot that dog so many times and it was like, nope, no register. Okay. Okay, the dog literally like... Okay, the dog literally keeps like 80 strafing bullets. I was not counting. Pig fucker. Dogs are so annoying in this game. Like, I can't, like, throw a gun at them. I can't do anything to dogs.
I don't I, like how did a dog get to be the most annoying thing in this game? Got him. Get the bag. Where's the bag? Where's the duffel? Oh, down there. The bag that that guy was playing with. All right. Gotta go get the duffel. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Got the duffel. Let's go. Let's go. Get to the car. Whoa! Who the hell are you? Thought you could get away, huh? Get away? I just work here. Who are you? You're freaking me out, man! It's your lucky day today, kid. This bag here just saved your life. I'm getting out of here. You should probably do the same. Now, out of my way. Nice. Oh, I snap my wrist. Out of my bay. Look at that combo. Time bonus. Oh, shit. We got like a lot of points. We got into like a yellow tier. Nice. We got a B after that. Come on. I felt like I did pretty good. 63,000 points off a of combo alone, and I only got a B. Come on, bro. I got all the kills and all that shit. What, what, whatever, whatever. We got the duffel. That's all that matters. Also, thank you for the 100 billies, Shiru. That's very kind of you. Uh, cute little scamp, you. Yeah, 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 I get it, Shiru. All right, I will catch you on the next one. Hopefully, you get plenty of rest. Hopefully, you rest well. And you enjoy the remainder of your whatnots. Hopefully. But yeah. Good luck, Shiru. Rest well. Good night. Hi, honey. Welcome home. Made you dinner. It's in the fridge. I'll eat it later. I'm not that hungry right now. Oh, had a rough day? I'm not sure. I quit my job. You quit your job? Just like that? And your boss just let you? I thought you said... Look, I'm out and that's that. Speaking of which, I've got a surprise for you, but... What? What is it? You'll see tomorrow, okay? I am feeling a bit too tired right now. I'm going to head straight for bed. Are you going to stay up for a while? I was going to finish this show. I'll be up in a minute. We're like a pool table in our house. And like a fern. We have a fern in our house. Oh my god. Why is the bathroom like right next to the living room? What kind of design is this? And we have like all of our gold and shit here. We have a, we have a knife and a deagle and like. I don't, I don't know. There's like a scorpion or whatever the hell that's called. We got a treadmill. Look, so this is a proper workout room right here. There's a treadmill here. There's a barbell here. There's some dumbbells. There's this barbell. There's, there's probably like a, a, an elliptical or whatever. This is a proper workout room. Why does the other one just have a barbell in the middle of fucking nowhere? This is like maggot infested. Oh, that's probably our dog or some shit. Family of five found burned alive in what is believed to be another arson. The incident seems to be the latest in a wave of anti-Russian hate crimes. And then, of course, we have, like, a lion thing or whatever here. That sack of money. But that duffel. Oh, shit, look at all that money coming out of the back. What the hell? You're listening to WYL Miami Radio, bringing you fresh new music each day. 
What you like, whenever you like. That's our motto. It's a beautiful day today. The sun is shining and the sky is clear. You can't go wrong with weather like this. That's for sure. Later today, we'll be premiering a hot new single from... I can't even read this word. Per... per Perturbator? Perturb... Perturb... Perturbator? Perturbator? I, how do you know what the word is? I can, it's so hard to read because of the fucking fancy, like... Perturbator? Perturbator? Holy shit. Oh, perturb. Okay, I, I got it now. Holy shit. This, like, weird, like... Popping in and out. God dang... I was like, this getting popping in and out wording is so hard to read. <clears throat> anyway, now that I broke character. Later today, we'll be premiering a hot new single from Perturbator. Like I got it that time. Meanwhile, here's another song by everybody's favorite, Mitch. Beep. <laughs> we interrupt the broadcast for an emergency weather report. A tropical storm is heading towards Florida, coming from the Atlantic. It's estimated to reach Miami by 7 p.m. We caution all residents to... Bzz, bzz. Oh, the chicken guy? <laughs> nice car you got here. Where are we going? I'm going away. Far away. Anywhere. Doesn't matter to me. Also, you see all the dead bodies and whatnot, like the skeletons in the road now? As soon as they, they announce the storm. <laughs> Are you sure? Do you even know where you're heading? Without directions, a lot of people wind up going around in circles. And this road doesn't look too promising. I didn't ask for your opinion. What if I told you this road leads nowhere? Or rather, that you're heading for a dead end. That's where you're going. You're closing in on it. Closing in fast, but you already knew that, don't you? I have no idea what you're talking about. You'll see soon enough. By the way, did you forget to bring your girlfriend? Come on, 13, November 22nd. So this is the same... Wait, no, yeah, this is the same day, just a little later. After I rested, probably. Where is... Where is the money? Mary! Mary? My weird maggot infested dog thing or whatever this is is still here. My weird maggot balloon dog. I don't really know what that is, but that thing looks weird. Looks like a weird like cyst with like maggots on it. That's all I can say. Looks weird. Mitty. Mitty. Uh, hi, honey. I'm so sorry about this. You would have done the same thing if you were me. Love, Mary. So she jacked our shit and then yeeted? What a bitch. As I open up this mail. I'm assuming it's nothing. But... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I go back upstairs? Where do I go? Out the front? Mitty! Oh, she stole my car! What a bitch! <laughs> my car! <laughs> my suburban or whatever. Eight scene. Execution. Northeast. 14th Avenue. Is this still me? Am I, am I Dimitri or whatever the fuck my name is? You have reached the wrong number. Please hang up and try again. Beep. 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 I, I needed the thing. Oh my god, it's the dudes. We're rolling in. Gangbusters. Alex and Ash. Chainsaw and guns. 
Wait, wait, let me... Oh, I got a buddy? Yeah, gang. Oh, I'm the chainsaw man. Oh. Oh, no. I have to control two people? Oh, no. Oh, no. This is awkward as fuck. So left click, if you're playing on mouse and keyboard, left click is for the chainsaw guy. Right click is to shoot the gun. I do not like this. Seven times though, seven times. Oh, so if I run out of ammo, I can pick up another gun. Ooh. This is kind of interesting. What did I get shot by? Obviously a shotgun, but where the fuck did that guy come from? Ow. I also feel like a chainsaw is super not practical for this, but alright. Oh no, I gave it to him. That was fast. Jesus Christ. I kinda like I kinda like this playstyle. That's weird. Wait, what? Am I looking for that guy? Wait, no, I'm upstairs now. Wait, what? Let's get to the car and I have to get over to this guy. Who's like cracked out over here now? Oh, it is that same guy. Look, I don't, I don't know. I, 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 I told you. There's something strange going on. You know, you know what I mean. Can, can you see that? Look, right there. Can you see it? What is that? Someone must have slipped me something. I mean, this can't be happening. It's like, wow. Are those masks? Are we in the jungle? I ought to go to the jungle. I quit, you know. Did I tell you that? No more, I tell you. I'm out. Done. It's finished. Yeah, that guy's got some stretchy legs. What? Are you hitting me? I... I just wanna go home. Can you call Mary? She'll... She'll come get me. Is that blood? Am I bleeding? Do I need to go to the hospital? Guys... Look. I just want to go home. Okay? I don't think I'm- I don't think he's going- I don't think he's going home. I think he got- I think he got baseball batted and we like, stabbed him in his nuts. That guy got- that guy got beat the fuck up. I don't think he's going home. Going home in a body bag. Body bag. Hey, my name. Mask unlocked. We got Mark. Hey, Mark, 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 Third act. Climax. I'm about to climax. Huh? March the 17th. Is it a dude or a lady? Where are you at? I can't tell who you are. Oh, I think this is a dude. I don't know if it's the heat, but I feel a bit drunk. Me too. I'm thinking about heading back to camp. <laughs> this guy has like a bandana on. I'm good. So you need to leave with me. You guys hurt our back. I'll catch up with you later. You don't tell me what to do, okay? I'm gonna show you how to drink, you hear me? Now, I guess we'll see you guys back at camp then. Just remember that we have a job to do tonight, fellas. I'm the nerd. Also, where are we? We're in the jungle? Why are we in the jungle? What the fuck's going on here? 
Oh, this is the this is the guy. Excuse me, guys. You have a second? I'd like to get a picture of you, if you don't mind. Good thing. Are you gonna send me a copy if I give you my address? No need. We have a Polaroid. Would you mind stepping out in the sun here for a bit? I assumed that that was going to be a gun. All right. Good luck out there, guys. Thanks for letting me get a shot. No worries, man. Good luck to you, too. Give me that Polaroid. Hell yeah. Is this the general? Hey. Is this a... Uh, what the hell is this? Is it, this is like the most colorful plant that's out here. Randomly. What was that thing about? 1442, March 17th. Honolulu. Oh, we're in Hawaii. Aliki, liki, liki, liki. Aliki, liki, 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 liki. Anyway. As I say, I was like, is my character drunk because the screen was shaking, but it's the the leaves are moving. American flag. My American flag all tattered. Uh, we have like an American flag got dang. What is this, like a quilt? That's hilarious. Time to move out, son. Use your weapon wisely. Make them shots count. Lord knows how many rooskies we have out there. You be careful, my boy. Don't want any of my men dying on me, you hear? Got a special supply delivery coming in tonight. Wouldn't want to drink all that bourbon alone. Not in this goddamn place. Get some, get some, get some, get some, get some, get some. Why are they all like, we're about to go on an op and everyone's like drinking. What the fuck? Where are we going? This way? Night. Or night scene. Ambush. Oh, it's just me? What the fuck? Oh, these are Russians. Why are there Russians in Hawaii? Huh? <coughs> Okay, the door literally stopped my bullets again. Okay, the door stopped my bullets again. He walked through the shotgun, alright. Walked through it again. Some bones there. So I'm trying to figure out why. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out why there's Russians in Hawaii. Who stabbed me? Oh, is there? Oh, there's another guy down there. Am I not allowed to have multiple guns? Hold on. Oh, I can only pull out my knife here? Oh, shit. That's weird. Okay.
I don't even know what to do about this. Game's here. I'm done weeding out the garden. Who's going? Uh, who's coming with me? Or uh, who's going? Where? What? How's it going with the yard? There we go. Hank here. Run out of fuel for the lawnmowers. We're at the gas station on 24th and 7th. Head on over and we'll share the ride back. Leave the area. So we're hallucinating that we're in Hawaii killing Russians? Cuz there shouldn't be a there shouldn't be any streets in like the forest that we're in. There's also not supposed to be Russians in Hawaii. Especially in 19 like 91 or whatever this is, unless it's a, a weird like dystopian like alternate reality, but there shouldn't be Russians in Hawaii in 1991. This is weird. And they're doing too much like forward and backward in time. We got a big and heavy. Just like my ex-wife. That guy's getting beat the fuck up. Hey, look at this chubby asshole. Is it just me? Or does he look a bit like Daniels? Well, maybe not so much now. I just couldn't help myself. One day, I'll show that fat pig who the real boss is. Who the hell's Daniels? Oh, the the gun guy, I guess. I'm assuming we're, we're about to execute these dudes since they got the they got the Uzi on the back of his head. Oh, this guy, the guy, the bandana guy. Come on. Ah, looks like we got our hands on some good intel here. We should get this back to the. Corridor as soon as possible. Not sure what to do with the captains, though. Maybe we should just let Barnes have his way with them. Would make the job back to cap a hell of a lot easier. <sighs> Stop. Fast forward. Play. December 9th, 1991, Miami, Florida. But now we're back. Oh, so is the nerdy guy the fat guy? Eww. So, are we actually ex-military, or are we... What, what's going on here? Talking to Duck. So I'm Bear, right? I'm the Bear. I'm the Bear! Did you guys catch the news on Channel 6 last night? Looks like we're famous now. Yeah. Looks like we got our five minutes of fame. I'd say it was more like two. Damn. I didn't catch it. What did they say? Do you think you can call the news station and ask for a copy? I mean, I'd pay big bucks to see it. Why don't you call the police? Turn yourself in while you're at it. Yeah, probably wouldn't be a good idea. I'm sure they'll run another story on us sooner or later anyway. I'm not so sure about that. We'd have to off more people first, you know. He's right. Not sure to, not sure what to do about that. Can't just go out and kill random people now, can we? I might have an idea. I bought some weed from a couple of creeps on Northwest 163rd. 60, no, that's 8th. Can't be 3rd. 168th. A few days ago. It looked like they had their stash in a storage shed close by. You want us to go treasure hunting for more drugs, huh? Well, there might be more assholes there. I don't know. Got anything better to do? I wouldn't mind going for a ride. 
Let's check it out, guys. We can always grab some pizza if we don't find anything. Hey, I like this guy. Worst case scenario, he's like, we can get a pizza. There might be some act. Tent scene. Into the pit. Enter the pit. I like this guy. This guy's shit. What's his name? Mark. Mark's my kind of guy. He's like, you know, worst case scenario, we get a pizza. Oh, he does the thing. I can spread him out. Live. Live or die. Live or die. No doors, by the way. That's all there was to it, huh? You hear that? You hear what? Sounds like someone's in that room over there. I already checked. There's no one in there. Kick. We're in the sewers now. We're in the Suez Canal now. Bop bop. Floor clear. Where are we going? No, there we go. Like, where are we going? I don't see an indicator. I like how I'm like rat a tat and bullets right next to this guy, and this guy's like, nah, I'm good. There's a guy with a shot. Okay, so there's a lot of dudes here. Alright. Traded. God dang it. Got him. Go to car. Whose car? My car. I don't know who car is, but like Carl, Carl Urban, Carl Swerben, Jaegerman, Jensen. Who knows? Leave or die.
It looked like we cracked into another tier, maybe. It went green. A plus. Oh, yeah, let's go. Fanatic. All right, I think we're the cop, right? Or no, we're the detective. And judging by this, we either live in a shithole. Oh, no, this is in our house. So somebody lives in a shithole. Oh. Are we a lady? Okay, so this is so this is this lady's house. Her person. I can't I can't really tell. It kind of looks like a lady. Looks like she's wearing a dress. There we go. Who is it? It's the police. Open the door. Just a second. I got to put on some clothes, okay? Oh, she's naked. I thought she was wearing clothes. What the fuck? Now she's wearing like pajamas. Door was already open. How did you get in here? The door wasn't locked. I let myself in. I hope you don't mind. I I would I would absolutely mind. Well, what do you want? I'm looking for an Ash Davis. This is listed as his last known address. Well, as you can see, he's not here. I don't know where he is. He doesn't live here anymore. Was there anything else? Will you tell me to or will you tell him to contact Miami PD next time you see him? You're his sister, aren't you? I can see you got the good genes. You're very pretty. If there was nothing else. I would like for you to leave. I was like, is he, is he about to do the thing? No, oh, okay. Get out of here, copper. Piece of shit. 11th scene, dead ahead. Port Boulevard. Ooh. That's actually an interesting way to do water. I like it. I like it. Go. Oh, so going to the pier? Bro. Also, we're a cop. How are we... How are we doing this? How is this legal? Who sanctioned this? Okay. Got him. Come on, bro. Those are clean shots. Okay, come on. How many dudes are there? 
Like half of the half of the goddamn guys are like chilling right here. Oh my god. They take so many bullets too. Or not really they, just like the big boys. Anybody got a gun? Jenny's got a gun. Dude, where the fuck am I? Oh, over here. Come on. So hard to pull the trigger. Piece of shit. How is there so many enemies? Okay. Where did that guy come from? Okay. There we're going. Left. Alright. Ooch. I forgot that that's glass. You can't kill the big boy with a knife, I forgot. The literal like one person you can't kill with a knife. The big boy. Okay. Okay. He shot wide and somehow hit me. Okay. Shot wide and somehow hit me again. Dude, why is it so hard? Hit this guy.
Good old big boy. Just like sprints over. Does it to you. Okay. okay. Around a corner, mind you. Still got hit by that. No punch. He didn't walk over at all. I was not actually anticipating living that in any capacity, but I did. Or that. Back to the car. Let's go. Okay. And we like obliterated this dock. Much blood everywhere. By the way, police out there, by the way. There you are. You know, you should really wait for backup in these situations. Not my fault you guys took so long to get here, is it? I got here first. You got a problem with that? What you did was reckless, and you know that. Your actions endangered the, this whole operation. Oper er, operation? Give me a break. If you don't like it, go complain to the chief. I'm out of here. Nice. What's our combat rating? Or our combo rating, I mean. Sheesh. The combo was high as fuck. Unlucky that we didn't, uh... Break into the next tier, but that was that was a pretty damn high combo. 141,000. A minus, yeah. Is this guy taking a leak or is this guy vomiting? <laughs> yeah, this guy's vomiting. Oh, that's why. Let me guess. Our serial killer has been added again. Um, but gave it away. He left another message for us. Mundane as ever. Please don't make me do it again. Well, at least he got a bit creative with the victim. Poor kid. Maybe he was, or maybe he was upset that the papers haven't made a bigger deal of him. These scumbags seem to crave attention. Don't we all, huh? You might be getting your... Fair share once this gets out. You think you can handle the pressure? All eyes will be on you now. I'm sure this guy will slip up sooner or later. Speaking of which, what have you got for me? Any findings? Not much. No murder weapon, and no witnesses. An electrician found him like this. He must have been taken here by force. Found cuff marks around his wrists and ankles. Death by strangulation. 
The killer gutted him post-mortem. Thank God. Anything else? Yeah. Seems like the killer may have robbed him, unlike previous victims. Couldn't find the kid's wallet. Who knows? Might have been someone else. People have no morals these days. We'll have to run his prints, see if we can identify him. All right. Good job, Johnson. I'm gonna head back to the office. Been a rough night. Okay, sir. I'll let you know if we find anything else. Okay, y'all. 21, 29, December 20th, 1991. You know what? While we're waiting, I am going to go to the bathroom, because... Before we start the next one, we're actually have to have to do a timer and all that other bullshit and whatnot. <coughs> Might as well just go to the bathroom now, so... One second, I'll be back. Since we're doing old 1990s shit, don't touch that dial.
And daddy's back. Daddy's back. What is in here? The chicken. Wait, what the fuck is this? A severed head? A chi oh no, this is the chicken mask, right? Where am I going with this? Am I putting it on? Am I killing some kids? What the fuck am I doing with this thing? I present to you, King Goose. Oh, okay, you don't want this. I present something to somebody. Boober! Hey guys, we got the new masks we ordered. Pretty cool, huh? Hey, I'm raising chicken now. Well, how do they feel? You like them? Oh, the music stopped. Guys? I think I'm done here. How are you guys doing? I'm moving up to the next floor. See you on the roof. What? I'm not sure I follow. I'll clear on my end, I think. Wait. What was that? I think I just heard something. What are you guys talking about? Alright. We're on the roof now. How are things going on for you guys? Hello? Is anyone there? Guys? I'll get it. Wait, what? Wait, I'm a girl? This The goose is a girl? Where? Oh, no, this must be Ash. I was like, one of the gooses is a girl. Okay, never mind. Hey, now these phones are ringing. The other goose. When did you get a cell phone? I took it from that guy we clocked at the bar. Just charged it up this morning at Dean's place. What should I do? Do I answer it? I don't see any reason not to. All right, here goes nothing. Hi, it's me. It's me. <laughs> You're gonna fuck it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have the I'm gonna have the the random person on the phone have a weird voice. Hi, it's me. I know you want it out, and I respect that, but I just figured I'd give you a call and see if you change your mind. You wouldn't believe what's been going on the last few weeks. We're calling the shots now. Top of the game. No one can touch us. The new product is the full-scale production. We got a new place. Three floors up on Northwest 20th Street. Who did that, huh? Why don't you swing up by and check it out, huh? Hello? Anyone there? Hey, guys. I think I just found us something to do tonight. Let's go right now. I'll tell you all about it in the van. I'm the goose! I'm the goose! It's me! It's me! Goku! 12th scene. Death wish. Can you open the door already? Getting pretty late. They might be heading out soon. It was your idea to stake the place out for two hours. I'm working as fast as I can here. Well, we couldn't just barge in. You gotta have a plan, you know. At least, now we know where they are. Just fucking open this thing, will ya? Maybe you'd like to take this over here, then? I'm sure you'd get it open in no time. Yeah. I didn't think so. I think I got it now. Alright. See you guys on the roof. Don't forget to stay in touch with the walkie-talkies. About the roof? You sure we'll be able to jump across to the other building? It looked a bit far to me. It's not that far. Well, at least not for the rest of us. You may have some difficulties with it though, big guy. Yeah, fuck you too, man.
I like that F sure to put the music volume up. Then you guys can't hear me whenever I do anything. Whatever. I was like, the, so the music overshadows me doing anything. Ow. I'll believe you since you're the one in chat currently. So. I'm but a humble minion of my viewers. Oh, that was all glass. What a bitch. Get lucky. Come on, dude. Any other gun, please? Done here, heading upstairs. Oh, so I can't kick the door in on him. Okay, that's good to know. I can't see that many dudes packed. Get me on the thing. Dude, come on! I was just the bear guy, I don't have the option. They're not giving me the option of doing anything. I was literally just the bear guy. We're playing as different people. Holy fuck, alright. Come here, asshole.
It dodge rolled. He literally like opened the door and it dodge rolled me out of the way. Hate the zebra guy. The dodge roll is like so weird. So inconsistent. Okay. That one was on me, I got a greedy. Plus if I had to pick one, I would never play as the bear. The bear is like so shit. Why would I ever want to like akimbo guns? Like the worst. The wor Come on, peek the corner, asshole. Yeah, the bear's like the the worst one, honestly, in my opinion. <laughs> he freaking ran through the door completely. Well, apparently, I'm on a rail, apparently, because it's just giving me whatever masks the game's just happening to give me right now. Because I get whatever they happen to throw my way, apparently. Holy fuck, I got unlucky. Okay. This game gives me a lot of fury vibes. With like the music in these. Fuck. I was hoping that he wasn't going to be like in view of that window. There's so many corners. Okay, my character decided to do the dodge roll as opposed to literally mounting this guy again. I got lucky on that one. I can't see in that bottom left corner game. It's not fair.
Dude, I can't see down the bottom of the corner. Oh, I know Carpenter Brook has his uh, music in this too. That's why I made mention of it. Down, big boy. Is there a gun over here? A non empty gun? I'd really love to get down here without getting like constantly like fucked It'd be cool oh yeah there's a pump I was hoping one of those guns had ammo in it, but it didn't. A punch. This gun, please. Hey! He literally ran over to that door and just did it to me. It's fine. Wait, there's missing a guy here. Fuck! I misnumbered the people. Okay. Immediately decided to do the tumble as opposed to like doing anything relevant. Welcome to Hotline Miami. Jankiest game I've ever played.
for it. I fucking corner peeked that. I can't get any of those guys to shoot at me normally. The second I go for any of that shit, the game's like, oh, we know you're doing that. Okay, look. I hard committed that corner, I was like, oh yeah, that guy never literally like comes over at any, of the, at any interval. That time the game's like, yep, we're coming over. That knife hit me, like, across the map, alright? I'll clear up my end, I think. Wait, what was that? I think I just heard something. Oh, okay, so this goes left here, okay. Okay!
Come on. I hate having to deal with the fatties. That's a good combo multiplier. Where did the dog come from? Go to the roof. Where's the roof? Donde esta el rufo? There it is. I was like, my buddy. What happened to my buddy? Uh oh. Why does this feel like a boss fight? All right, we're on the roof now. How are things going for you guys? Hello? Is anyone there? Guys? They're not answering. Maybe your walkie-talkie's busted. I don't think so. Seems to be working fine. Should we go back and check on them? Maybe we should. Is that the chicken? What the fuck are you waiting for? We had a, had a decent combo. We had like a 19 times multiplier there. And let them points break in. Look at that score. Jesus. <laughs> Guarantee you that's still not like gonna be enough to, to bump it past an A plus or whatever. Or an a. Yeah, like B plus. What a dumb game. All right. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. We've got this under control. Sure, looks like it. I'll take over from here. You can't do that. Just watch me. A lot of blood and shit. Oh, everybody looks like they're dead. Well, what do we have here? Wearing masks, huh? Another set of vigilantes, I presume. Don't shoot. I give up. I'm through with this. Just rest me and get this over with, okay? I'm done fighting. Oh! You want your 15 minutes of fame? Well, I don't think so. You know what happens to thugs like you. Burn. See, that's what happens. 
Dang. Good, good executioner style. So who is this? This was the zebra. Our, our bear is dead. And uh, that, was, that was tiger guy. Are you alright, sir? What happened there? He came at me. I had to take him out. It was him or me. Looks like my job here is done. I'll leave the rest up to you. Let's go down. Put me in the car. Fourth act. Falling. So everybody in the uh, the masked the masked masked people gang is probably dead, right? The zebra died, or actually, technically, zebra didn't die that we know of because we didn't see the mask, and or they took the mask, and or the mask was moved. But we saw the outline of his clothes, so we know it's that guy. Bear died, obviously, and uh, tiger guy obviously just died right there, as well as Ash and the other guy, the duo. A lot of fake guns, perhaps? Whose house is this? Good morning, honey. I didn't want to wake you. Took Jimmy to school. Left you some breakfast. See you tonight. Love, Sharon. Can we eat the breakfast? No? We're not interested? We're not interested in Brecky? Oh, we're, we're on foot. We're hoofing it. We're on the bus. Black guy looks like he's talking to people. Huh? What's he got to say? Hey, mister. Uh, hey, mister. Press some change. Uh, uh, here you go. Do I look like I want your dirty money? Excuse me. Oh. We've barely got enough money for rent. Maybe you should stop trying to be a writer. We've got kids to feed. You need a real job, dear. This just isn't working. Aren't we a cop, though? Wait, hold on. Sharon, what? What's going on here? I'll leave you. I'll take the kids and leave. You won't have to do that. This book, it's gonna be good. I promise. I just need some more time, okay? Time is the one thing you don't have. Maybe you should reconsider your priorities. What are you saying? I said I don't want your stinking money. So spare some change, but he doesn't want our money. Hmm. Thirteenth scene. Subway. Polonito Station. So we're in public now. Okay. This is so weird. Okay, and then now there's a shotgun guy up there. Nobody's over there, nobody over there. Good shotgun guy over here. Come here, shotgun puppy. My fucking crowbar. There it is. I needed that shit. 
The music got really weird. Because that's a wall. My thingy. Okay. <laughs> this is our turf now, boys. Let's tear it up. The guy looked like he lost his hand. Woo! How spicy, alright. He doesn't want to come over and challenge it. Now he does. Am I out of the map? Yes, I am. Okay. Was he just like a one pump chump? I just had to run over there and bop him on the nose. Jesus Christ. I thought that guy was gonna be a badass or something. Let's give him a little. A little tucka tucka. Alright. B plus. The end. El Henlo. Hey, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't get the door for you. The legs aren't what they used to be. You're the writer who called earlier, right? That's right, ma'am. I was hoping you could tell me about, or tell me a bit about your son. He was the sweetest child. I, I don't know how he got mixed in that mess. I'm sure it must have come as a shock to you. Yes, well, I noticed that he was behaving differently. He was always a bit of a loner, you see. Suddenly, he was going out to meet old friends. I never knew he had any. I didn't think much of it. A man that age shouldn't be, or a man that age alone shouldn't, or a man that age shouldn't be alone all the time. I always felt I was holding him back. He was taking care of me, you see. Did he tell you anything about what happened? 
I only visited him a couple of times when he was in prison. He wouldn't tell me a thing about it. Said it was better if I didn't know. Do you have any idea what happened to him after he had his escape? Has he been in contact with you? I... Uh, well... Can't really talk about that now, can I? Look, I just really would like to talk to him. Well... If he does call, I could maybe give him your number. That way he can decide for himself if he'd like to talk to you or not. That sounds more than fair. Thank you. While I'm here, I'd like to ask you if it's okay to have a look around. Oh, please do. My son's room is upstairs on the left. I've kept it just the way he left it. Upstairs on the left. This one? This one, this one with, the, with, the, with the tiger bear? The bear tiger? March the 10th. March 16th. He's just like, hmm. It's not telling me to go back downstairs yet, so... Or at least it's definitely not telling me to leave yet. The den right there. I got a couple of thingies. Anything, 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 anything. No, no, no. No, no, no. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. All right, ma'am. You have a good day now, you hear? I'm out of here. Convenient that a bus is just showing up. Stop. Rewind. Play. October 25th, 1985. Holy shit, this is way back. I've been thinking. Well, thinking about what? When I get back home, I think I want to open up a bar. Well, you do like looking. Hey, I'm being serious. You think it's a bad idea? I used to work as a bartender. Well, what are you gonna do when you get back home? I'm a teacher, Andrew. I have a job when I get back. I say you'd make a great bar on your bands. Who wouldn't want to have a sociopath drunk as their boss? Yeah, yeah. Fuck you too, dude. How about you, Lieutenant? Got any plans? Ah, uh, I'm not right sure. A bar sounds nice. Anything where I won't have to carry a gun and shoot people. Maybe I'll find a little convenience store or something. A little TV next to the register. Just sit there all day, relax. I think you got it all planned out. I try not to think about it too much. Things never turn out the way you expect them to. Anyway, I'm gonna go see what's keeping the colonel. We're supposed to move out of town. The sun's been up for an hour now. Looks like he's getting cactused up or whatever. He's getting cactus jacked. Lieutenant, I just received some good news. Looks like I might be promoted. They're considering me for Lieutenant General. You don't look to have it, my sir. Something troubling you? Nah. Can't you see I'm celebrating? Why wouldn't I be? Or why wouldn't I want to be Lieutenant General? Well, besides the fact we're gonna lose this war. <sighs> On a more positive note, good the boys are being sent back home soon. Unfortunately, we've got one more mission before that. What are you made us about last night, sir? That's the one. Charging an enemy camp with just four soldiers. Good thing you're an elite unit, huh? What a piece of shit mission. Nothing good about it, son. You boys stay frosty this time. Don't get yourselves killed for nothing. You hear? Yes, sir. Well, all right then. Godspeed. 
Yes, sir. 14th scene. Stronghold. That shot in the back. I was like, the patterns on some of these guys are like so unpredictable. Sometimes they go in like a normal pattern, sometimes they're just like, nah. We're not doing that. Hell no, sabe. Over here, you brewski piece of shit. Who shot me? Hey, this game. <laughs> Come on, I don't even know who shot me that time. Half the time I'm like, I don't know who shot me there. I don't know who shot me there. I don't know who shot me there. I don't even wanna walk up there cause I'm just like, who the fuck knows who's gonna shoot me up here? Like that, like that. Okay. Also, this is some good music, but I don't know if this makes sense for what we're doing currently. Okay, well, I didn't know that he could just shoot across that because I can't walk this gap. So, fuck me, I guess. Okay, why is there randomly just dudes everywhere now? Got him. I 
Alright. Lock through a door, immediately stab. Good. I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. What in the actual flying fuck shot me there? Come on. I gotta at least see the thing. Jesus Christ. Alright. Like, how does this guy not see me? It's like, not see me, not see me, not see me, not see me. Oh, he's in, he's in cover. Oh. I don't have bullets for that. Well, that guy's dead now. There's some like oddly lighthearted music for what's going on here. Got that guy. So there's a couple of chubbies. Fuck. Okay. All right. Okay. So the, the 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 tubby guys are gonna be like the biggest problem because they have guns. Yeah, they have Uzis. Okay, my knife didn't work. Come on. All right. Hurt. Okay. There's so many dudes. So many.
Could have died right there. Could have literally died right there. And here, I'm gonna clean out the suites upstairs. How many of you guys, or how many of you guests arrived? This is Mike. I'm outside greeting the VIPs. All right, I'll come down and collect their luggage. You mean you'll come up and collect their luggage? Cause. All right, did we go? I can't tell if we went up or down. The stairs are really weird in this game. Outstanding work there, soldier. Thank you, sir. Wish my men were as well-trained and capable as you. We've been trying to seize this enemy camp for weeks, suffering some heavy casualties. Well, I'm glad we can put this all behind us now. Yes, sir. Why don't you go back, set up camp, and get yourselves some rest? Gotta go round up my men. My company and I will join you later. I just did, sir. We got a snipper rifle. I'm going home after this. That's what the colonel said. I guess that is a good cause for celebration. Damn straight. We should see if the commies left us anything to drink. This heat is killing me. I wouldn't mind a drink myself. When do you think the colonel will get back? Or er, get here? I'm sure he's got a bottle or two stashed away somewhere. I'd be a while. I'd be a while. The roads around here are pretty rough. We should probably settle for some water for now and catch some sleep. I'll feel a lot safer here when D Company arrives. Didn't you hear? Those guys are pussies. We're better off without them. We took down this place on our own, didn't we? What do we need them for, huh? I guess you're right, Barnes. But there's always safety in numbers. I'm gonna go lie down for a minute. Wow. Didn't get much sleep last night. Wake up when the colonel gets here, okay? two, June the 3rd, 1989. Where the big guy that was like shaving his hair in the sink that one time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, that, I think this is us. We're like bear or whatever. June, right? So we're not dead yet. Are we not supposed to leave? Yet? Oh, there we go. We didn't get the thing. This is Mary from the daycare center on Northwest 159th Street. We're having a parent-teacher meeting tonight at 7. Northwest 159th Street? Got it. I'll be there at 7. Discreet. Click. Hello? Where did you go? Perf. Oh, are we the band? Are we like the the mass dude from like the military days or whatever? We're this guy, right? Hmm. Red, white, and blue. Why, hello there. We're just about to close up here. Is there anything I can help you with? I'm a member. That's so. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you for your support. Look, I got this plan. 
I, I know it sounds a little crazy, but but just think about it for a little while, guys. I think I might be onto something here. Burger here. All right, let's hear this plan of yours. Let's make it quick. I need to be on my way. All right, so I've been getting these strange phone calls. Strange phone calls? I wouldn't know anything about that. Look, just hear me out, okay? Like I was saying, these phone calls are telling me to do stuff. They sound like they're some kind of misplaced calls, but they're not. If you don't do what they say, well, let's say you don't want to disobey them. They mean business, if you know what I mean. I see. What do you think this has to do with our organization? I don't know. I was thinking, what if we set up a similar operation except, like, we go after the Russians, free America of our oppressors, you know? I mean, you have all these members and all the resources. Many of us have military experience. We'd wipe them out. We could start a civil movement, free ourselves. I'm not sure I follow. We're a peaceful organization. We'd never force anyone to do something they don't want to. I'm not sure what you're accusing us of. Man, you're not listening. I'm not accusing you of any. Oh, I got it. You're the one. That all makes sense, though. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't figure it out sooner. My God. And here I was thinking I had this great. Oh, man. Look here, sir. We're closed, okay? If you don't mind, I would really like for you to leave now. I talk about it here. Gotcha. Don't worry. I'll keep your secret safe. You can count on me, brother. We're both patriots, right? Let's go now. I have something important to know. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> What does that say? So... So... So be... Sore? You're like, I can't, I can't read like half letters upside down. In reverse. That shit makes no sense. Alright. Oh, probably sure. Fifteenth scene. Withdrawal. We can be Jake, or we can be Irvin. Irvin, let's be Irvin. Now we have a gun. Why is it so hard to aim with this thing? Like all the guns. Irvin. Got him. That act, 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 act. Oh, you guys didn't care at all. Go to the car, all right. I literally kept just shooting into them for free, and they were like, yeah, bro, we're good. We're good. It's all, it's all fine. It's all fine and dandy. Oh. Good. You're all right. Look, we need to talk. There's a 
safe place not far from here. How about I take you there? Yeah, but look at the way. I'm here to serve. I think I can be of some real use to your organization, sir. I have to say, I'm... We have to get... Well, we have to get out of here. The cops will be here any minute. Oh, you're right about that, sir. Let's go. Do I get in his car, or do I get in my own car? Okay. I feel like the bare minimum points you can get is just like playing the game out and like there's no like I for the level score I feel like you just don't play the game if you don't get like the max level score like that that seems to be the way it goes there's there's seems to be no physical way not to get like a decent amount of score because like how much did we blow that through that uh, almost seven seventy thousand like, it seems unreasonable to not get that, just playing it out. We got Dallas, Snake Charmer. All right. Looks like this is going to be a long night. How about I go get us some coffee? Sounds good to me, sir. But you get back. I've got some ideas I'd like to share with you. I've been thinking long and hard about all this. I'm... I'll be right back, okay? Got a pot of coffee in the other room. That's a gun. What do you got, sir? Are you after us? Just a little precaution. Black. I knew we were gonna get shot. I knew it. November the twenty seventh, nineteen ninety one. We keep like zoop zop boobity bopping like back and forth, back and forth. There's the snake thing, and it's uh. All that shit. Oh, this is evidence. So we're in evidence, probably. Don't you find anything? Well, no. Nothing substantial, at least. See, I told- uh, See, I told you so. So, we're good now. Right? No more favors. Yeah, yeah, no more favors. I'm sorry. I couldn't be of more help buddy. Yeah, me too. <sighs> October the 30th, 1995? Or 19, no, that was 1985. Because we, we went back in time again. Oh, tomorrow's our last mission, huh? Yeah. They can't find another bullshit reason to get us killed. Oh, that's all good you, dogs. Why are you always picking on me? We're in this shit together, right? As for tomorrow, I don't get it. I really don't. How the hell are the four of us gonna capture a power plant, huh? They should be sending in a whole platoon. This place is likely a booby trapped. Too risky for a whole platoon. I guess we're more expendable. So this is the Colonel, I think? Maybe? I'm very confused because he's got like a Jaguar head now or whatever. Do you see this? Can you see my face? This is my true nature. You see, don't you? This is who I am. This is who we all are. We're animals. There's no denying it. But you God damned animals. They're sending us out to slaughter or be slaughtered. And here we sit, 
until they tell us what to do and how to do it. No will of our own, just mindless obedience. We don't even know why we're fighting now, do we? All we know is that deep down, somewhere in there, we enjoy it. Destruction and violence, it's just part of our nature. Sir, are you okay? I... I have had a bit too much to drink. I'm feeling a little, a little bit tired. Maybe I better go to bed. That might be a good idea, sir. I wonder what kind of fucked up shit he's been drinking. I can get a sniper rifle! I'm gonna take the fucking bar, though, or whatever. If they give me the option to pick up a gun. Also, what the fuck is with these corners? Eh? What is with these corners? Lieutenant? Yes, sir? I don't feel very good today. A bit much to drink yesterday? It's got nothing to do with it, unfortunately. I've got word that they're sending you boys home tomorrow. Lord knows whether they're lying or not. That's not the issue. I'm afraid this might be your last mission, son. And that they'll be sending you home body bags. You've seen the plans, so you should know. You'll be walking right into a trap. There's a little and there's little I can do about it. I've already said this is to the others, and I'll say it to you too. The damn good commanding this squad, Lieutenant. We may not be or we may not win this war. I couldn't be more proud of you boys. Thank you, sir. Good luck out there. You'll need it. How many chapters are in this goddamn game? Because I feel like... Uh... How many chapters are there? There's 20... Wait, what? Oh, 27 scenes separated in six acts. Oh, so there's 25. 25 and then a bonus. So let's try to crack... Let's try to clap this one up and then... Oh, yeah, 15th scene? Yeah, so we have at least 10 more. Codicus. I think is what that said. Danger! High voltage! Yeah, I too randomly just frequently turn turn the fuck around. Yeah, I do that too. Game. Oh wait, I don't. Through any of these, I don't know if I can shoot through this thing, but I don't want to try. Okay.
Come on. How is there a guy behind me, bro? Yeah, that, wasn't gonna go that one wasn't going to go well at all. Got that guy. Ow. Okay. 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 We traded. He has so much HP, it's not even fair. Now, there it went. No bullets, alright. And trust it at all.
the screen tilting back and forth as with your brain. Well, welcome to fucking what I have to deal with. The entirety of this game fucks with my brain. Oh my god, all that's glass down there? Holy shit, alright. Well, that makes it a little bit more tough. Okay. No knife, huh? Traded. Where did that guy come from? I'm right with the game being bullshit, but I'd like the game to stop cheating. So I noticed the game gets a little bit crazier with the screen shake. I think when I take a bullet, if I, get, I think I can take a bullet sometimes. But that's get a little bit weird after I take a bullet. But the screen shake thing is not. I am. I list of things I'm enjoying right now. Uh. This leave area. Oh. Why can I not leave that way? I have to go this way. My boys. Looks like that bass totally lost it. No point going in there now, is there? Alright, I'm gonna get back out of here. No bones! It's so dark. My name is Ben Smith. My car is broken down on me. I need. I. I... Can you repeat that over. My name is. Fuck it. Look, we need a cash back here. I'm at 19.42 North, 155.28 West. I step on it. He's bleeding out. Hang on there, buddy. I'll be here real soon.
Don't even thank me, kid. It's on the house. You wouldn't have done the same, or you would have done the same for me, right? I think I hear the chopper coming now. Maybe you should take this, so you don't forget who saved your ass. Not bad, not bad. What do we get, like 8,000 over? Crazy. B plus. I feel like it's a lot better than that, but I don't know. We got a flamethrower. These are rifles, these are my guns. Gotta hear about that. Things like that are never easy. Well, yeah. You know the day. Time heals all wounds. Right. Oh, you remember that photo we talked about from Hawaii? Did you ever get around to sending me a copy of it? Right, well, maybe you get a chance, man. Look, there seems to be something going on outside my shop. I'm gonna go have a look, okay? Alright, talk to you later. Bye. And that is where we're gonna eject. We're gonna eject here, and that is where we're gonna call it for today. Not a bad stream. Not a bad stream. I mean, we definitely clapped out Dark Souls 2. Got a lot of got a lot of progress in Hotline Miami, and then we'll have a little bit of something to do on the next one. While I figured out what's gonna come after this, because obviously I was anticipating this being a full day of dark souls and hotline Miami. well it ended up being that and then some because it's gonna carry over such bleed into the next day and i gotta figure out what tomorrow is gonna bring so with that being said uh that is gonna be it for me i guess for today and literally as far as i can tell i don't think i see many people on if at all let's see i want to hear my own audio go to my channel and yeah, there's like nobody on right now. So with that being said, I guess I'll just throw you at Grumpers, even though I got no viewership, so he's not going to recognize me at all, nor is he going to give a shit, but I'll throw you guys there anyway, because why not? Why not? Anyway, with that, uh, that is going to do it for me for today. Uh, thank you for everybody that tuned in. Thank you for everybody that showed up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully the people that were here for the Dark Souls segment slash like got to see all that were uh, not super bored. Honestly, the Ancient Dragon was like the hardest slash like easiest slash hardest part of the day because obviously there was a gimmick for that and yet we still beat him anyway, but we just had to get lucky that he didn't keep like spamming the abilities that it immediately one shot us but after that it was like smooth sailing after that yeah we'll pick up the remainder of hotline miami up on this next stream as well as probably start something else slash do something else but until then i will catch you guys on the next one so with that being said love you guys take care peace out all that good jazz and i'll see you then goodbye for now laters